All right, back in our sanctuary. Yep, yep. Got some shit to get That's how we gonna start it. Three, two, one, blow. Back in our sanctuary. It's your boy Tree Live with two eyes. It's Heartbreak Blue in the building. And we back with another b b bando banger. <laughs> What's going on, people? What's yeah. going on? Missed y'all. Missed y'all for real. We took a week off, you yeah. know, Valentine's Day. Uh, kids are on the way. We got a lot of shit. We got a lot of shit going, listeners. So, Man, you everything. Know, life, life hidden for sure right now. So, you know, we get back to the basics, back to the shit y'all love to hear us talk shit about, certain shit that we know about, certain shit we don't. But we yeah. give you our opinions anyway. And we you need y'all help. We need y'all to chime in. We need y'all to reach out. We need y'all to... Uh, fire us up in them comments. Do whatever y'all need to do. But we definitely want y'all to play y'all part. If y'all listening, we appreciate y'all. And we want y'all alone for the ride. Y'all in this too. And who knows? Y'all might end up on this bitch sitting across from us, popping that shit with us. Ain't, we, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Just hit us up. We regular people. Shit. Y'all yeah, know us. Y'all definitely know us. And hit that hit that email up. That's players mess up to a Gmail. Y'all can also hit up the Instagram. Please get that a follow. Cause this it's be content on there that y'all don't be seeing, but it be going on there. I'm actively posting. So if I post on my page, you know I'm tagging players. So let's you know what I'm saying. Let's let's get the shit up, y'all. Let's let's get these views up let's i appreciate y'all for y'all do we gonna get we gonna get professional because i know a lot of y'all been like damn like you said it's a tuesday it's coming out on a friday damn what bitch. The fuck going on? <laughs> damn bitch but damn dog, bitch what is you doing we're gonna we're gonna get shit get shit in structure in order i promise I, I, I was in my feelings this week and shit but i'm out them bitches so we back to the work back absolutely. to the grind absolutely and, and uh i want to start off this episode too because we lost a, 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 a pure spirit man and uh I miss you, Dion. Like I, I really ain't been weak, been uh, been good all this week. A lot of shit I'm going through personally in, in, my, in my personal life and really? relationships and family life. But also when that shit, when I heard the news about you, Dion, that shit low key took me over the top and put me like in another level of semi depression that I was already going through. Yeah. But I'm just uh. I'm, yeah, I know you in a better place, brody. Uh, like I said, you still got one of the best uh, yearbook comments that I have in my yearbook, and I'm a, I'm a hold that forever, bro. And and I got a lot of good memories with you, but I want to say, our rest in peace, bro. Uh, I love you, G. And uh, like shit, damn near fucking with me now. I'm trying not to yeah, break yeah, down yeah, now because yeah, I'm thinking about bro. But so, check, love you, dog. Yeah. Bro. So man, long live Deion Santiago. Listen, check this out. Pure man. soul, bro. Just an all-around good dude from from our experience uh, with him. Um, we Dion's not really a guy we uh, linked up with outside of school or nothing. It's just some people, even though they're great and you guys get along great, you just don't link up outside of work or school or wherever you know him from. Right, right. But you guys uh, be like the the best of friends in school or or. Even if you're not the best, it's just you guys show each other so, so much, much love, love and respect. Him, exactly. Yeah, it's just it, it was just always love with Dion and um, I I got the news and I was like what? And you know as you know little black boys we we kind of used to uh, we were taught to like bury our Your emotions. Emotions and yeah. And uh, I've been making sure I rid myself of that horrible habit. So. When something happens like this, mm -hmm. initially I don't feel anything um, because the way my body is set up, it, it doesn't allow me to. All right. But then I took a couple minutes and I just went away by myself because I'm aware of that condition, you know, being somebody who bears their emotions, you just keep on keeping on, like, okay. So I took a moment to go alone. I left out the room with everybody else in the house and I went to the basement, you know what I mean? And kind of just chilled down there for a second. And, and then I ended up in my room by myself in my bedroom and and I just like, I wasn't tense. I didn't just like hold it and be tough and hold it in. Like I let go and I felt the emotion and it, it made me tear up because mm -hmm. that guy, knowing somebody that's a good person. Now we got really, uh, me, Blue, Dion, people like Mikey Weiss, people like, uh, we just had these big personalities that was like loving. We were like really good people. And, and, and it wasn't like, it's if you knew us, you loved us. It was, we wasn't the type of people that you just hated. If you hated us, it was for the wrong reason. And we never spread it like no negative. Yeah, so not, not, not it, it was a lot of people like shit. that that was just really good people. Jacob Betcher. Yeah. You know, it's just a lot of people who were just like great people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just really nice and just loving. And um, Dion was one of them. And 
it, it is like, damn, that was, we lost a really good person. It, it, we lost a person like us. So I'm like, damn, if somebody like him could die, I know I could. Yeah, that's, that's, that's you know what I, I mean? Like, thinking about my uh, <coughs> mortality a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah because of Dion? Yeah, because. Dion. And then, bro, it's just been like. Like the start of the decade been just so crazy with all the bullshit in the world and, and it's so crazy. And rest like, in peace, Shark too, because I was thinking yeah, about you, yeah, bro. I was like, that's the second person, yeah, from the school that was really rest close in peace, to and us. Xavier, because it's like we, Xavier. That's, we, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's yeah, like, and these are these are people who, to us, we don't know um, the ins and outs. And the, the the inner workings of their lives and exactly. their lifestyles or their mental. So. Right, but uh, excuse me. However, we don't. To us, they were great people. We only got to see that side. So to see uh, these type of people perish, it's such a hard thing. You know, like, it's such a hard. It, oh Especially shit! Especially because it's so much more life. It's a lot of we're life so to young. Live. We, we haven't even experienced the man. shit for real, bro. And that's that's what hurt me when I was when I was thinking like. And I, I think Dion wasn't even our age. He was younger than us. Yeah, man. Dion was uh, younger than us. I want to say about two years. I want to say. So. I think it was one. Well, maybe one. Okay. Carlos was younger than us about two years. Definitely. No. Yeah, Carlos is. Carlos was in. I think Carlos was, was chilling in the third yeah, grade. He was a sophomore when he was a senior. Right. And I so think Dion was right in the yeah, or something. Yeah, I don't so think Dion was our age. No, nah, so probably class 2013 for real. Yeah, but that, that's sad. So moment of silence for my brother. That's sad. Definitely moment of silence. R.I.P. Dion Long Live You, man. Love you, G. Yeah, for sure, man. So, um, yeah, just, just coming off of that, man, it, it, it definitely make you want to tighten up. You like, damn, I could be here now and gone. And then look, with the COVID going on, anything that go wrong, like my neck been fucking with me. I'm oh, oh, oh bitch. Right. What's this? You know what I mean? Like right. you just never know. But one thing that I learned that uh about this life, you gotta accept your mortality. That's the only promise you got. Ain't shit promise. Um, but your, your birthday you gonna be, your death day. Look, you're gonna be black and you're gonna die. I can tell you that for sure. Yeah. So, so whatever come with it, fuck it, we riding. We riding. You man. know, and and, and 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 niggas be ready to ride on other 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 people, other black men. Nigga, ride on your obstacles, fool. Yeah, you feel, feel me. <laughs> ride on them storms you gotta go you through. Feel me, bro. But niggas be weak. Niggas will break down and become drug addicts. And I ain't speaking. You know, I'm just saying, niggas will break down, and be drug addicts, do unnecessary things. Do things that aren't even excusable, no matter how you feel. All right. But they won't ride on their obstacles. They ride on, on niggas. Their ops, yeah. They ride on their obstacles, but not their Ops. obstacles. Yeah. Ooh, we hear with it, bro. <laughs> y'all niggas trying to ride on y'all obstacles, but y'all won't ride on y'all obstacles, and that's why y'all at a stand still. Niggas ain't making no headway. And Niggas ain't getting no type of. Uh, and to be uh, honest, bro, only one of them really holding you back. But <laughs> that's a different story. Absolutely. So I, I just really want y'all to know that, man. We regular dudes, you know. We we definitely most of y'all know us. If you don't know us, to know us is to love us. You either love us if you know us, you love us, and if you hate us, it's for the wrong reason. And, and, then, and this is what I want to say to you know all our because we is a close knit group and shit. Yeah, so yeah, all yeah. our clans will be, bro. If y'all if y'all going through anything, bro, um, I'm not saying that that I got the answers to everything, but definitely hit blue up because because I mean if if I could do if I even could just be talk to here. you. Yeah, if if you just need to lay some shit, cause that's one thing about me. Y'all know about based off the girls I dated. Like the one thing I can handle is other people' trauma, and because I'm a hurt motherfucker, so I attract pain anyway naturally because I got a healing soul, and that's why you know if y'all been paying attention to my Instagram, I was sad a little couple of days because because my my soul so healing, and I be trying to come in everybody's life with pure and good intentions. So when niggas play with me or, or, or females play with me, I, I, I get in my feelings because it'd be like, I'd never do that to you. But that that's neither here or there. But if y'all going through anything, bro, I'm I'm one thing y'all know about me, I'm listening. I love all y'all to the we share moments with each other that we can never take back no even even Absolutely. though we as teenagers. But definitely hit my line. Just, it don't matter if we ain't talked in two or three years. You say blue family. I, I, I'm going family. through something, blue. I, I I need some advice on something, blue. I just need you to listen. Yeah. I'm here. I make time. It, 
I'm only a, a Facebook message away, or if you got my number, I'm only a text away. Or an Instagram or, DM, yeah, or Instagram whatever, DM, Snapchat, and, anything. Just reach and out. And I do my best. And, I am busy, and, but I do my best. And if you can't get in contact with one of us or whatever, y'all know somebody who who got that information. Reach out to so and so. So and so got it. And, and, and just period, bro. Just period. Just don't hesitate because it ain't shit to us. But it'll make all the difference for you if you at that point and you in need of that type of love or just that listening or whatever. It'll make all the difference. And it ain't no big deal. We ain't going to judge you all oh, that nigga did it. Y'all know one thing nah, about nah, me. Nah, we gonna don't keep judge it, at all. We're going to keep it one th the same people you always knew us to be. We the same way. Y'all see us. We, we talk the same. We walk the same. We act the same. You know, it's the same fucking thing that you always knew us to be. So mm -hmm. uh, those are uh, our listeners that don't know Clarenceville. Very super small school. When we were there, I think it was about 700 kids total in the entire school uh, student school. body. That's and nine through twelve. Our yeah, and our um, our graduating class was about 107 people or something. 100. I think we had like a bigger, like 130, maybe. 40. You tripping? You are out of your fucking mind. It was, well, it should have been. It was, you right? Because yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, I said uh, our graduating yeah, class, right. not, not our, our class, not our senior <laughs> class. <laughs> the senior body was probably uh, a lot a lot bigger than that, but. Uh, we we had a, a hundred and something like a hundred and like one oh something I think in our graduating uh, graduation ceremony. So it it just shows you how small it was. And I went to Mumford for two years, right? Mumford got three levels and it's a lot of more students. Mm -hmm. So I promise you, sometimes I used to see a motherfucker on Monday and not see him till Wednesday because it's three floors. And if y'all ain't at the same place at the same time in them yeah, three no floors, sense. you just don't see each other. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a motherfucker Monday, not see him on Wednesday or Thursday, and be like, damn, nigga, you ain't came to school? Like, yeah, nigga, I'm here every day. You ain't seen them though because so it's just big people. and there's so many people. Yeah. Clarenceville, you seen everybody every, every fucking day. day. And the shit because ain't no level. Listen, it's a it square. Was, it was it was one level. It was a square <laughs> with a line going through that bitch, yeah. and that was where the lunchroom was. That yeah. line. So it, you seen everybody every day. Yeah. You never not seen who you was looking for. Yeah. Like, yeah. and it was just so small, and everybody was so tight knit. If you was looking for somebody, you like, hey, where's so and so? Oh, he and uh. Because it's one little fucking square. Yeah, like, it was in that so, corner, so, like, bro, I was just looking for you, bro. Like, it was, but it was so much love. And um, kids from other high schools thought we were weird, the guys in Clarenceville, because we were so close that when we seen each other, we showed so much love. And we, you know, we were hug, so close, we hugged. Yeah, and, and other like people that. used to come, like, um, there was this girl in our, in our uh, grade. She had a boyfriend, you know, like uh, people used to bring their boyfriends around the sporting events and girlfriends around the sporting events from other schools sometimes. You know how I go, just the high school experience. But he was looking, he was like, bro, he, I, I was kicking it with him. He said, I was looking. When I first seen him, y'all all hugging each other. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Gay shit or something? Like, what the fuck is they doing? All the love peering but around this it was just, we just was that close. He was like, I yeah. thought it was weird at first, but y'all just like that. Y'all niggas just love each other like that. And that and that's that speaks volumes about, you know, how close we was and and how heavy something like losing one of our brothers uh, from the uh, Seafield fam can, can uh, impact us. Like, it was heavy. It was definitely heavy. Heavy as shit, and, 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 and don't, let's not ignore the fact that I think I might have bumped into Dion one time since we graduated. One time, maybe. But this is somebody I haven't seen. And what, we're almost, what, nine years? What? Nine years. We're nine, nine years out of high school. Man, that's crazy. I haven't bro. seen Dion in almost a decade. That's crazy. And it still made me cry when he passed. Man, because you, you think about the memories, bro. That's, yeah. that's what it be. And, I mean, and he was such a beautiful soul. And that's my thing. Person, that's, that, that's why I heard it a little bit more because I'm like, bro, this is one person that I know like didn't have no malintentions for nothing he yeah, did, yeah. at least when he was around me, so I could say, like, no mild attentions. I never, he didn't even harbor that type of energy, bro. You, you ain't, you wanted to hug Dion when you seen him. Like, bro, where you been at? Give me a hug, man. Dion was amazing, bro. Yeah. He was a, he was an amazing dude, man. Definitely and, uh, amazing, bro. You'll be missed. You'll always be loved, man. And uh, your name will definitely live on. Yeah, you know? gone, gone, but not forgotten. Will yeah. never be forgotten. But I promise it, you. Hey, that's the way you want to do it. You want to, you want to, you want people to be able to say, great things about you without forging or forcing it. You hear me? And that's what Lex, at the end of the day, that's truly what legacy is about, Legacy. Bro. <laughs> like, hey, what, what, what people say about you when, when you're not locked if, here. If I pass away, when I pass away, even when, when I'm right. an old man or whatever, right. when I finally do pass, don't let no preacher that don't know me speak, you know, do the sermon. No, my nigga. Somebody I know. There, yeah. So I got, I know preachers. So, 
You feel me? I know preachers, so there's no reason that a preacher I don't know should be doing a sermon when I, That's when I pass on. Nigga, uh, but they older than me. They like, but it don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't, if they allow it, whatever, it don't matter. Somebody who know me, I don't give a fuck if it's my cousin, my auntie. Don't let no stranger get up no, there and try to tell y'all about me or talk no, about me. Shit. They me, don't know me. Me and Ken to be up there for yeah. Hold on. First off, that nigga, <laughs> TMD Fats, <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Trees, <laughs> Treat Live, Michael Demons, Mike A. You know what I mean? Like Mr. Bitches. <laughs> This that, that you know that God sorry cussing your heart, but this was the nigga with the bitches right here. <laughs> no, but long live long a live great man. Period. And, uh, and, 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 and we send love out to the Santiago family, yep. Carlos, Carlos, and, and, and I his little love. brother. I, I don't know. His <laughs> Before yeah, our shit. time, before our time. <laughs> Not oh, after our time. No, yeah, we don't know the little brother right name, but time, little right, Santiago. Yeah, baby yeah. Santiago. Yeah, man. Shout out to y'all, and we send love y'all way, and don't hesitate to hit us up. Don't matter. Even if y'all need to pop out and uh, feel some love, some real genuine love that ain't, because you know everybody love you and somebody passed and all that. If, it, if you want some genuine love and you want to pop out and just, you know, get some love and be around some genuine people, be around the bros, hit us up, man. It ain't shit. Like, DM away. <clears throat> Facebook Excuse messenger me. away, nothing, phone bro. call away, email away, yeah. shit. And uh, honestly, we um, I'm I'm sharing because the Santiago family does is asking for assistance with the GoFundMe. Absolutely. So I'm sharing the GoFundMe on my Facebook. So listeners, if, if you listen, that's Facebook. the Smith. I'm gonna on share Facebook. it too. It's uh, uh Mike, Mike A O Demis, yeah. uh, and, and, and my everything is public. You see everything. I ain't hide nothing. Yep, yep. So I'm gonna continue to share it, and we, we just need to wrap our our arms and send our loving. Condolences and in prayers the biggest way. To, to the Santiago family. In the biggest way. Because, man, I, it hit me, so I know I can just imagine what it's... Man, and, so, then, and then, like, uh, like, like people who are close, like Tuli, you know what I mean? And, and, Mer, Mer and with tobacco. What, y'all, y'all... Uh, uh, Jazz is right hand, for real. For real. Uh, uh, hold on, what, what's my man's name? Uh, old boy who went... What's, what's Joshua and Nemo girl name? The tall girl. She fake cute and shit. Like she got dark hair. She kind of tall. No, you talking about? I just can't think of her name right now, bro. Joshua, Joshua, girl. But her, she was close to yeah, him. You know, all, close, shout yeah. out to all y'all because y'all was y'all was closer and y'all kept contact with y'all get bonded. Exactly. And, and you know, so I know y'all are taking it a little bit harder and it's a little bit heavy on y'all. So we just sit in love for all y'all, man. Everybody the whole Seaville, man. Yeah. You know, we lean on each other in a difficult time, bro. Yeah. On everything. But uh, let's get into it, Blue. Yeah. How was your week this week? <clears throat> Uh, this week was challenging for sure, bro. I just want to throw this out there. Wine for breakfast. I didn't have anything this morning. Yeah, same Wine here, for breakfast. Same Wine here. for breakfast. Wine and a water bottle. <laughs> Ghetto blue. <laughs> Good Scotty. You feel me? Moving but, on. But uh, my week, my, I had a challenging week this week. I know whoever, like my man's, my man's Malik. Shout out to Malik, bro. He be getting T-Rex? On, yeah, he be getting on my ass all week. He like, bro, babe, stop being sad, bro. You was sad posting? Yeah, I was definitely sad. Stop Trust posting, me. No, no, beat you no, up. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. And then, listeners, one thing about me, I'm sensitive as fuck. I, I don't know if y'all believe in the Zodiac shit, but I'm a Pisces, Pisces, and birthday on Wednesday. So, listeners, tell me happy birthday, my birthday on Wednesday. Yeah, hold on, man. My nigga, birthday on Wednesday. What you need, bro? Damn, bro. Oh, shit. Hold on, what you need, bro? Big Rex. Your birthday on Wednesday. Hey, and my nigga. You want something or you want some money? And my nigga ain't a scammer. No, I don't scam. It's legal money. Legal money. Legal money. Shout out to Shout out to Wednesday. People like us grind. You, you feel, feel me? So stop that. Shout, shout out to our sponsor. Yeah, yeah. But, but, uh, but no, you, you want you you want to give or you want some money? What you want? Shit, bro. We, I just want to I just want a good time and a vibe, bro. You okay, know okay. I can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can do that. We gonna do something crazy. We gonna yeah, do something yeah, crazy, so, and yeah, we so going so to be, the gun range, bitch. Yeah. So I'll be that's what I'm gonna do. I'm taking my boy to the gun range. I'll be 27 on Wednesday, but no, I was I was really in my feelings just because, bro. Like I said, it be I'm sensitive as fuck. So when people do shit that I deem some type of form of disrespect yeah. or you just basically said fuck me or it ain't like shit that I normally wouldn't do to people bro so when that shit get done to me I be I be hurt I be fake hurt a little bit because yeah, it be like 100%. my attentions be so fucking pure so if I feel like you got any malice or you saying fuck me it's, it, it hurt my feelings because it be like I never do that like I'm, I'm the type of nigga you know, yeah. necessarily, I give my last to see somebody happy. Yes. I'm willing Absolutely. to sacrifice yeah. my happiness for you. Mm -hmm. So it just be like, when that shit not reciprocated, bro, I be feeling some type of way. But whole time, bro, it ain't supposed to be reciprocated. It's not. Check and this out. I got to get out that it's, sense of entitlement. I want to say a couple of things. First of all, What's up? I learned this when I was about 14. God's first, your second, everyone else's third. 
That's a fact. And I'm going to just bring that back to this case. God's first, your second, everyone else is third. Uno, dos, tres. So God is always first because he's the most high. And you're second because if you're not good, you can't do no good, good for nobody else. else. That's a fact. You got to make sure you're good and then you can be a blessing. But you got to make sure you're blessed by God. One, two, three. and then it bounces out. Yeah, because if you try to switch that shit out of order, you try to put that third spot in that two spot, that's when shit like me, how I've how been, how been feeling. You create an imbalance. Exactly. And things fall apart. And quick. Now, another thing is, even if you're good or bad, right? Mm -hmm. You cannot expect people to be like you. At all. Even bro. if you're good or bad. At all. If you bad, you can't go being bad to everybody because everybody ain't bad like you. So you might be a, a grimy motherfucker and you like, I gotta fuck, them, fuck everybody over before they fuck me over. And it's a lot of people trying to send love your way. Uh -huh. Can't expect everybody to be like you. But if you good and you doing good to everybody, everybody ain't gonna have them same attention. So like you said, it ain't that you should expect it that. Because everybody ain't and can't be. And, and can't be. However. Not even capable. If, people. if. You put God first and yourself second and then other people third or last, then you'll create a better balance and you wouldn't even expect as much because you wouldn't be doing as much. That's a fact, bro. But we're gonna move on. That's a fact. I just wanted to throw that out there though. No, no, no. But, but other than that, bro, I'm I'm smooth. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And uh let's talk about this social media thing real quick. Get in. Uh this week I, I had a, a situation within the home. Okay. With um uh, airing out family business. Personal grievances. On, online. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fellas, ladies, young people, older people, do not, do not. Because you could tell me fuck you to my face and I can forgive you. I could say she was upset and that's okay and I understand because we're human and we feel emotion. That's a fact. But when you get online and say fuck me to the rest of the world, it's a little bit different. It's, it's it's a little bit hard. It's a lot harder to uh, to contain. First of all, mm -hmm. I'm a person just like you're a person, and you love me, and I understand. But you're not the only person that loves me. That's a fact. So now, if you'd have just said whatever you wanted to say, no matter how bad it was, that's I do It's our relationship. I, within our home, can forgive you. I understand you. Yeah. I know you. Cause we hear every day. So I can be like, you ain't mean nothing bad. Or you were going through this and that had just happened and that and you had pressure and you were folding or whatever. I understand you. I know you. I know the variables that went into you making that, that decision, decision exactly. and making that statement. I can forgive you. Yeah. But when you put it out into the world, for others to see other and people judge and to may forgive you, may not, but they may also look at you different for That's what you're fact. saying because fact. it was never their business it was never their issue to be in on or to even have an opinion to pass on pa like a judgment to pass on the issue they never should have had a seat to that issue like, they should have never had a, been audience yeah, to that exactly, bro. so it's all about the audience. you have to have to be mature and take responsibility for what you signed up for what you signed up for is an adult relationship. I don't know if our listeners know, I'm 26 years old. This man is 27, uh, Wednesday. Um, Wednesday. I, I, I'm, I'm the baby. I don't turn 27 until August. But Sometime. it's just the point that you are an adult and you have made a commitment and you have to honor that commitment, right? I know I usually jump on here and pop a lot of fuck shit, but that's just the part of me. Like, in real life, that's what I'm saying. Don't believe the shit that you see on the internet and don't believe or buy into the hype. That's not how I am in real life. That's just the fun side, the party side. In real life, I'm a very serious person and I take things that are serious very serious. Now, things that don't that don't matter, like fucking bitches getting money screaming, fucking it ain't nothing. That's a joke. I'm going to be joking about that and I'm, I don't give a fuck. But when it's real shit, matters of the heart, family, responsibility, accountability things like that it's, it's not a game it's not a laughing matter so i just want y'all to know stop airing stuff out it's not cute it's not cool you're not gonna get no points nobody on the internet cares about you they're not coming to save you if you got issues with your significant other you don't air it out 
via social media at all because nothing good will ever ever come from that i promise you what are you putting it out there for the only thing that can come is negative no nah, and then and so then are you trying to solve the problem or are you trying to add to it and it's and with that shit, bro and i had many relationships where i used to and I'm gonna call them girls because I don't believe a woman should take those necessary steps to even leave. women flawed, bro. Yeah, well, even women flawed. But I'll be thinking like like certain shit like the internet ain't supposed to know. Cause this I, this this not. this one thing I tell about I tell when I was in those relationships like, okay, you portraying me to be X Y and Z, right? You on the internet, fuck this nigga, the nigga ain't shit. Can't believe this nigga just did that. So everybody see that. Everybody like, oh damn, she going through it. But what the, what the, what they that they gonna hold on to that mental memory of of you cursing me? I was the worst nigga. Then mm -hmm. once you post, oh I love him, blah blah blah. Now they looking at you sideways like, well damn, is, is you stupid? Is you really going through so much? Or are you being over dramatic? Now people have the right to judge your relationship and judge you because you gave you gave an audience to the shit show. And that's the only thing about the shit show when it's going on. Don't give it an audience, because once you give an audience, now you give people the right to make any perspective that Absolutely. they want to make about you your relationship. You invited them into exactly. your home. So now they can have an opinion on anything. They can tell you your relationship ain't shit. And y'all could have just been going to, going, to war, going to battle for the day, but it's not a war, you feel me? Absolutely. So it just be like, you, you got to have that give and take shit with the, with the internet. And sometimes we get a little confused where we bear so much shit on that shit that nothing is really you know sacred yeah so your relationship once your relationship is not sacred and it's supposed to be that's the whole meaning of relationship like it's between it's a it's, it's a it's a it's an agreement between two people two though two not the world not not facebook no i just want y'all to understand now some women might say you y'all yeah. niggas oh y'all want to come at us but y'all tell y'all boys everything that's cool you can tell your bitches everything you can tell your girls everything. Yeah, that's fine. Excuse me. Telling personal things to confiding in your support system. Exactly. It's not the same as putting your business into the world via internet. I just don't want you to think that it is. It's not the same. You have a support system just like everybody else. Why would you skip your support system and go straight to social media? And I know, and I know, a lot of ladies are gonna say this. Well, my friends on social media, I got family on social media. I got, but you also got people that you and know, that you know, and okay. even with them too, bro. That's that's a little. Now check this Let's out. touch on that too, because that's that right. could be a hold, little. Hold that. Don't forget. Okay. That. Okay. We all got people on Facebook that we don't know. Stop fucking playing with me. Y'all know y'all do. Yeah. But let's talk about this. Now you're giving the responsibility to all of these. Cousins, friends, family, all that, that that you mentioned that they might say. Yeah. Okay. What if they share the post? Not who is what is shared with their family. Or, or what if they just show it? What if they find it interesting, riveting, compel and and, and and feel compelled to show the people that they're around who are complete strangers to you? It doesn't matter. Once you put it into the internet, it's up for grabs. They might screenshot it and boom, pass it. You don't know. The thing is, you're putting it out into the world. Once you put that shit out into the cyber world, like it's up for grabs. You're inviting everybody in. So, real quick, I had, a, uh, you know, I, I got this thing where I can say very serious shit mm -hmm. in a very light way, mm -hmm. to where nobody feels uncomfortable. It's just part of how I get pussy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Talk your shit. <laughs> um, I just like women, and you know, you guys know me, but. Is it is just something I developed because it it's it it benefits a man to be level headed and always yeah. seem collective, At calm, all cool, and collected. Uh, women don't like emotional men because that's their role. Even if you do feel emotion, appear to be fine. Still, I'm not saying don't feel your emotions and go through the motions, but you don't want to like react to everything. Yeah. Right. So I just I figured out a way to kind of say very serious things or very uncomfortable things in a very inviting way, in a very light way to where it seems surface level, but it's really some deep shit. You know what I mean? Right. So I did it one time, and I invited somebody else into a conversation, but I was okay with inviting this person. Okay. And 
my significant other did not like that. Right. <laughs> and social media was uh, the outlet to, to, uh, to express the disapproval the, the and what transpired in that situation. So it's just, I understand, but I also understand that you don't understand right. what you should do in that situation. So sometimes it just requires patience and uh, precision when it comes to addressing it. And then you gotta stay calm, cool, collected, and level-headed headed, because if you don't, then everything but the issue becomes the issue. If you yell and get out of sh bent out of shape about it, now that's the issue and not what we're really here to talk about. So, exactly. so guys, just remember, when you feel strongly about something, that's the best time to get as calm as possible. If you make me really mad, my face won't show any emotion. So, no, so if I'm yelling at you, that's passion, that's love, that's not, that's not a big deal. I don't yell at nobody and ha 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 that I don't care about. But if you don't see no emotion on this face, you better get out of my way. <laughs> and I, I just believe like in relationships and social media, I believe that everybody, especially like if you got a large following or you got a lot of family following, you practice the 72 hour rule. Keep going. You feel me? Cause listeners, what I want y'all to know about the 72 hour rule is if the shit don't matter in 72 hours, it was it's not worth posting, it's not worth, you know, it's not even worth speaking about in a sense because it's like, why does it really matter at the end of the day? So what what I just want everybody to realize, like even myself, like I'm guilty of it. Like this past, this past, uh, shit, this past weekend, Valentine's Day weekend, I was, I was necessarily, I wouldn't say I was bothered by a situation, but everybody knew that I was bothered. And I'm a subliminal motherfucker. Like, I would never just point out, oh, this is what making me upset. She made me upset, and this is how it happened. Blah, blah, blah. But I am a motherfucker that if I'm going through something, because I love music and I'm so musically inclined, True. you would know what I'm going through based off what I'm playing and how I'm playing it. Like, everybody was looking at song, like, song, and they like, damn, Blue going through it. That nigga got on that drink. I'm start making some heartbreak music for your punk. Oh, music. no, I, my heartbreak playlist was crazy this week, and I ended my, look, look, I got out my feelings with one song, Song Cry. Song hey, Cry? Look, 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 this one. Yeah, look, look, what that nigga say? I'm a nigga with pride, bitch. You don't do no shit like that. Look, look. <laughs> and what I did was whack. I don't get a nigga, nigga back, back like that, that man. I'm, niggas, niggas like, yeah, blue going through it. But no, it's just, you know what I'm saying? So it's a 72 hour rule really means, like, if it don't bother you in 72 hours, is the shit really. Ooh, that's some grown up shit you feel to me? do. If the shit don't it bother takes you, yeah, care it's to a plot up. That's three days. Yeah, that's three days. That's three days. 72 hour rule. So Ooh. if it don't matter in 72 hours, don't even. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't even worth posting. Cause the, I had a situation on listeners where I had an ex that would reveal all her and in this and social media too. But I had an ex that used to reveal everything to her parents, right, and her grandparents and her family, and she would never understand like why they feel some type of way towards me. I'm like, every time you hitting them Ooh, up, it's, I'm not gonna lie. it's it's some negative. I'm like, so how are they supposed to look no, at me? No. Every time you talking to them, uh, you never mentioning how I'm making you happy. It's always I got a problem when he doing this. So just because you forgive me, and li listeners know this, just because you forgive your significant other, that don't mean your people have to. Absolutely. And while we own it, don't don't be the uh, significant other or partner who focuses so much on what the other person does wrong that you overlook all the right things that, uh, that they do. It might do 10 great things and then do one thing that you don't approve of. It may, it may not necessarily be wrong, but you may not approve of it or dislike it because it's not the way you would have did it. Or and it bothers then, you. And, and, then, and then you put so much energy on that one thing that the next 10 things and the last 10 things that he did great or she did great, you don't even notice. You allow that little thing to poison it and overshadow everything great. So just make sure, and, and while you're sitting up uh, relying on your support system or your family or friends or or your whomever. social media support system. Yeah, yeah. What, uh, when, when it comes to things you disapprove of of your significant other, you run into them with the negatory. Make sure you run to them with some of that positivity too. When 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 he or she does something great, make sure you air that out too. I'm just I just wanted to throw that out there. No, that's that's a fact. That's why I said like, and back to that situation, my. I had an ex that couldn't understand like why her mom couldn't stand me for Jesus. It's like every time you talk to the lady, it's always something negative. And then you have to realize like how that affects me and her relationship too at the end of the day too. Cause now I'm playing defense because 
everything that you pretty much inform her about is all negative. Niggas not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And that's where we, we really got to get out this. And, and I'm going to fall forward to this Instagram verif verification way of love. Like, uh, it, love is only supposed to look... Love is only supposed to look like Instagram captions, right? So, like, every woman believes that. Like, a woman... I see a woman who had a great Valentine's Day, but looked at another woman's Valentine's Day and said, Damn, he showed out. That must be nice. So we do... That's the, that's the problem with social media, too. It's too much comparison. Do you know who's going on in my house? No, I definitely don't know. Damn. Yeah. So it's look, just look, like appreciate. Look, 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 look say Dad, yeah. reading the fuck out of me. I close was my book. jacket, <laughs> motherfucker. Give me all that close to my shirt. Appreciate what what God has put in you in, in, in front of you and your prayers. You not you. She might have had the greatest Valentine's Day ever, but dog might be behind cl closed doors, beating the fuck out of her, disrespecting the so fuck he was out of her. You, you, and they might be brand new. You. He might be just trying to get that motherfucker. Behold, he might not even never hit that motherfucker. He might try to hit that motherfucker. Everything that glitter is not gold, listeners. Man, and, I and, promise and, you. and people looked at my situation like, Blue, oh my God, you did your thing for her, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, hey, like uh, I said, sis they, looked at your shit like that. Like, sis like, is like, oh my God, bitches don't. And I just, I, and I was like, girl, shut your Darn it. <laughs> yeah, but she Anything did, Anything that glitter ain't gold. Because cause shit, that, you know what I'm saying? That situation not as, as best as it could be. You know what I'm saying? So This is completely off topic. My shit is Gen 3. What is yours? Four. We need Gen 5s. We definitely need Gen 5s. Let's get Gen 5s. No, I... I want the Gen 5 to this gun really bad. I want a Draco. <laughs> Why? I just want an assault rifle, bro. A Draco is a fucking uh, AK pistol. It's a assault rifle, I guess, because it's, it's little. Don't get that. Dude, it's so many cool guns. Why are you being so small-minded? I don't know, bro. I just you can get an MP5. Why do you want a Draco? Get an I MP5. I yeah. seen an MP5 I'm at Tiger Sports. I'm I was like, oh, shit, that's the gun I shoot every day with. No call of duty. You know what I mean? I'm thinking about, uh, I'm, I don't know. I think that's what I'm going to really do for my birthday. I want a Tommy gun, for real. Oh, no, a Tommy Shoot five bullets. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that time. But that shit costs a lot of cheese, yeah. bro. I'm going to get one, though, once, we, once, once, once I feel like I'm going to just fuck it up. No, that's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my birthday. I don't know if I'm going to get a Gen 5, boy, or I'm just going to go ahead. Because they still haven't sent my car yet, so I'm waiting on that. But, yeah. But, no, listeners, like, everything ain't glitter ain't, everything that glitter ain't gold. Like, so you can see a whole situation, and it look nice on the internet, but the whole time that shit is hell behind closed doors. So appreciate your situation. Appreciate your significant other if they doing mostly good by you because I know we can get distracted. And this, this is the other thing that people have to realize too, right? So when you're in your relationship and you always constantly announcing the bad and ignoring the good, it doesn't give your significant other incentive to continue to do the good because the problem that's going to be is that is you not – you're not acknowledging the good, so you gotta take the good with the bad. Everything not a perfect situation. A relationship is a roller coaster. It has its ups and it has its downs. But at the end of the day, if it's a fun roller coaster, you're gonna keep getting back on that motherfucker. Ooh. So, hey, she 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 rode the album. You feel swap it. it. <laughs> not going. Treat the bar. <laughs> anyway, look, check this out now. What's up? I don't know. Oh, we gotta get somebody coming. Uh, uh, the door open. Uh, 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 uh. It can't open. It's locked. Did they locked? knock? No, no. It sounds like somebody. It, it's knocked. something going on though. Going yeah, okay, on. just hold that, cause we we coming on the second half. We come. Can, can, can we have half time? Have... Yeah, check the camera real quick. Make sure we still roll. Yeah, we still rolling. Let me check. Ooh. <laughs> all right, be night. I'm, I've been singing uh, "Shy" around the crib, all like. Shy, shy, shy with a. How you doing? Okay, how are you? Good, good, good. I'm so, so sorry. Good I'm late. It's all right. You here? I'm so sorry. All right, this, this is this is Tia Tyler. Okay. What's up, Tia? I'm blue. Nice to meet you. Blue. Okay. Yeah, we in the we, we got a second half. We got we got another hour left. So. Tia's good to see. You. <laughs> It's good to see you too. Excuse the glass in, in, in the house. We, we do it for the podcast. Yeah, just, we know it's douche light. Like. Yeah, just, we know it's douche light. Like. We, we do visual, it for the, for the podcast. This is you. Yeah, you four. Get you for set sure, up dude. together. Your set up should be straight. Yo. 
How was the drive? Michigandans don't know how to uh, drive. Michigan, you live out of state now? No, but they act like they don't know. She gonna refer to Michigandans like she's not Michigan. Michigan, I'm out of drive. Look, she said shit. Let's see. I'm just a Detroit. Okay. Let's see. And talking to them for me too. Yo. Yep, yep, I hear. Oh yeah, you, yeah, we got you turned up. Yeah, I told you, yeah. I was like, she got a soft voice, yeah, so we gonna need her turn way yeah, up and that, shit. That's perfect. But when she start getting passionate, I'm gonna have to turn it down. Yeah. <laughs> but all right, all right, check it out, check it out. We got a super special guest. He's one of my favorite people. Yeah, give her an introduction. She Come deserves. On. This lady right here, this okay. black woman, okay, this talk, queen. I'm talking like blue, not queen. queen in the this real queen though. This ain't the kind of blue we talk about. This <laughs> the real kind. All right, check it out. This is. Miss, Miss, uh, 2020 graduate, Western Michigan University. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Okay, big degree. I ain't say little degree, I say a big degree. Okay, clap it up. Okay, focus on communication, health and services, right? Okay. A boutique owner. Oh, okay. An author. I'm talking about the real kind. (laughs) I'm talking the real, not your little cousin who had a little idea. It's a real author right here, right? She did it. An influencer. She has... Uh, on YouTube, she got Beauty TV with Tia T. Mm-hmm. Instagram, you can follow her at Beauty TV. It's a bunch so of wives in there. We're going to clarify that. Like right yeah. <laughs> Facebook, Tia Tyler. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause hey, for Miss Tia let's, Tyler. Let's Come on, man. Today. Come on. Big love. We got to get big love, man. So, uh, our first it's woman. It's a great woman we got, we got up here. No, 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 no. Fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. It's Tia T. Look. You know when we used to go back to like the high school and like the teachers used to freak out and be like, "This is it's like the kids new, so they don't know who we are." And then they're like, "I don't know." That's how I feel. Like this Tia Tyler, you like, like you don't know, nigga. You understand? Like you don't know, man. Like, nigga, like, this Tia Tyler, extraordinary guest. Yeah. All right, all right. Check it out. We got Tia in here. Tia, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm thankful that I made it. I'm thankful for the invite. Oh, absolutely. You know? absolutely. Man. It's good to be here. It's been a long time coming. We've been a in the works with time, this. right. I told him, I was like, we already got our own yeah, notes shared and everything. Mm-hmm. Like, we've like, been yeah. working on this. Look, I'm the guest today, whole time. Hey, yeah, it's all good, though. But, um, so we always start with this very simple question, which is, how was your week? My week was, it was good, actually. Okay. Tell us about that. Um, oh, pause. Would you like? Would you? Would you? We we finished sure. the first one. <laughs> we fi- yeah, we, we, we took we, a minute. We found out why okay. give our podcast like a different twist. Like I'm talking about a whole. Like, like just, let me know. I'm here for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's big to you. I forgot. <laughs> All right. So, what you had going on this week, though? Um, this week was pretty normal. I did a little bit of recording for content. Um, we definitely still working my nine to five, so right. got that going. People like us grind, so yeah. Period. <laughs> All legal money. Yep. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it was straight to the point, simple, sweet. Nothing too dramatic happened, so All right, we all cool. like that. <laughs> all right, all right. So, all right. So you are an author. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your book? Yes. So, Pink Promises was written back in 2017. Okay. Um, it actually just tells a story about my faith journey mm-hmm. um, and what that was like being in school full time, away from my family, who yeah. raised me in the church. Right. You know, um, basically, it just gets down to like what really goes on behind um, the life of a Christian person. Okay. Basically. Or in, 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 in our terms, because we outside, preach kids. Yeah. It's preach kids. Yeah, the PKs, we, the PKs, we yep. tripping. The preacher kids, we tripping. We don't know about it. Hey, we got to watch the PK. Yep. But, hey, can I ask you this? this you know, I'm, I ain't trying to be fake messy, but in my experience, though, mm-hmm. preacher kids, a lot of the men be like on some gay shit. Like, that be. You know yeah. what? That is just like something that I just learned about. What? Yes, because so it must have not been. It must have not been like that. The kids that was around you, no, other preachers and all that. All. Yeah, it must have not been around you. I must have had them solid stand up. Them, <laughs> them, solid. them yeah. yeah. At yeah. least not that I knew about. You know what I'm saying? Because people always gay. Yeah, in for the some, closet. For some reason, mm-hmm. the, the the kids that be in the church idolize the women. 
So that's who they look up to and emulate. Mm -hmm. It ain't the same as being a, a, a young guy being raised by women. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's, it's something there. I don't so know what it is. There, yeah. But they, they emulate them in a way to where they end up trying to be a woman. Yeah. They talk like women. They mannerisms like women. And I always say it all the time. I spend the majority of my time, my adulthood with women. I don't like, you know, I don't like hanging around boys. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't hang around boys. You That's niggas right. don't smell that nice. That's like, right. you, right. you, you, you used to be cute, but you don't look like, you ain't never looked like that <laughs> in your no, life. No, you don't no, smell no, like that. Your not, skin hey, ain't soft. Not you, even with the buffs on. Yeah, <laughs> not even with the buffs on. Not even with the buffs We figured on. out that the buffs is like eyelashes or something for yeah, me. It's, 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 it's mask. I don't know what it is, yeah. but buff, the buffs popped it off. Yeah, no, it definitely do. Our girl said, he cute with the buffs. Yeah, he ain't really cute, but with the buffs, he cute. <laughs> what does that mean? But, uh, yeah, so I always say, like, on a light level, it's mild. Don't disrespect me, y'all. I, I didn't say this before I beat somebody up, but sometimes, even to myself, when I speak, I sound more like a woman, or my mannerisms are more of a woman's than a man's, but that's just because I hear it. Other people probably don't know yeah, it. But know. even if they do, that's fine, too, but it's because I've spent the majority of my life with women, I don't hang with boys. That I have got like two, three boys that I be around on a consistent basis. Right. Other than that, I surround myself with women. I don't want to be around no motherfucking dang lanes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like so, you no matter what, it's just how feedback work. You are what you be around yeah. to a certain extent. You know, so it's gonna come out. But no, nah, that's that's the most reason why I'm in touch with my emotions the way I am. Cause no, I, I no that's sisters. just how you were made. No, no, I got sisters. I don't bro. know if you know who he is on this podcast. This is Mr. Sensitive, Mr. Cash, at Mr. Yeah, Trixie yeah. Fucking Tang. Yeah, you understand? Me. This motherfucker be, hey, yeah. what's your cash up to? I promise you. Just on GP, he like, yeah, she cute, she can get shut. <laughs> but he, he, yeah, he, I get nails done, I get hair done, I, you know. I, you know. All right, we ain't gonna get right. too much into it, but this nigga definitely be spending too much money on women that he don't know. But really? This ain't Fire Up Blue episode. <laughs> it can be. It can be. It can be. This <laughs> dumb bitch be. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Have you heard his first date explanation? Like, uh. No. What you doing on the first date, Blue? Just uh, nah. He just he just met you, uh -huh. right? Let's say he was taking you out. Uh -huh. Tell him what it will look like. Okay, and this so, is real. Then no, I've this, seen. this is definitely okay. real because I if, if I like you, I do this. So two two I things to you, like like I'm a caterer to women. Mm -hmm. I, I have sisters, so I have never really told a woman no in my life. That's mm -hmm. probably why my love life go the way it go. To mm -hmm. be honest with you, his mama fine as hell. But I never <laughs> I never really Mike with the shout out. But I never really uh. <laughs> Told a woman no, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a caterer by nature. Like right. if 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 you tell me like if I'm messing with you, we talking, we ain't we ain't gotta necessarily know each other too well. Right. But I come in your life. This is my thing. What I try to tell women: if I don't come in your life and I don't approve your financial situation, I don't teach you anything, I don't open you up to no new experiences. I'm wasting your time. Period. Yeah. So That's first nice. date normally go for me. If I like to get nails done off rip because I know women love love. Many and petties and full sets and all that. So I got sisters, so I'm pretty much knowledgeable yeah. as to. So we go do that. You like getting your nails done? We go do that. I might even Wait, take. Wait, you go with them? I go with them and I sit there. And mind you, she's pretty much a stranger. To yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> this might be our first link. This nine times out of ten, it is our first link. I'm so gonna you go will with sit you. down with them and get a mani and a petty. Sit down with him and do do the whole thing, and, and you know he ain't got to get it too. He's just I, there. No, I don't, I don't necessarily get it every okay. time. I just sit there and watch and okay. conversate, okay. and you know do all I was about that. I to say that just took, took you to a whole nother level. And then you know, <laughs> we might depend on how much I like you. If we go to a nail shop, we might hit the mall. You might I might want want you to wear something to the date. Mm -hmm. I might already have reservations already made. At, I like to say the big three. My big three. <laughs> my big three. Ruth, Chris. Ocean Prime or Flemings oh, or Jay Alexander. Sandy. It's Jay Alexander. Alexander. Don't throw Flemings in there trying to be sweet. It's Jay Alexander, Ruth Chris, and Ocean Prime. Bitch, don't switch up the game. <laughs> don't do that. So I might, it might take you there, and then you know. So Blue, at, and then, at the end of the night, he might, you know, if if you, if it's, ooh, ooh, he might get a room, whatever. How much do this be? This should be. Look, this, I don't even. Like so I want to see the bill. So, so a first yeah. date, I might. I, so a first date normally around with me, I might spend upwards of three hundred dollars. Upwards, if if I take you shopping, nails, dinner, depending on what you we do. Five, he, that's five. He five it. Yeah. Check this out. For sure. Okay. Now, me. 
And, and I just wanted to, wanted, wanted to put our <laughs> listeners know I said yeah, this, but, but Tia, the reason I do that shit because I want you to say, all right, the first date I went with him is gonna be the best first date you ever went on. Like I want to first impressions is yeah. everything for me, so everything. I want to make the lasting impression. So whatever competition I got out here. They ain't gonna do it, so right. get them the fuck up out the way. <laughs> uh oh, he's about to come crash, crash. Uh oh, Mike. Crash the boat. Now, man. he said, I spend money because I want them to know how it is over here. Uh-huh. I said, What? Now, now listen to this. I say, Nigga, I always let them know how it is over here, and they ain't got shit to do with no money. And they ain't getting a dime, huh? Because I try to explain to him, because you know I teach a class on Wednesdays when it comes to this player shit, nigga. I, I work over time. Listen, man. check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move it to Sunday. So <laughs> Check this out, though. No funny shit. Okay. I tell you all the time, that money shit cool, but that security and all that. Yeah, and, that's and, all it be, though. That's, you, you apply long-term and longevity rules to temporary shit. That's a fact. Provider and security is shit that girls make choices on based on life. Like, that's how she pick up the husband. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. You ain't even there. You ain't, we ain't, she ain't choosing that. She ain't, you got to cross a threshold before you even in the running for any of that. That's so. I, I, I think it depends on a woman. Yeah. It but, depends on a woman. Because if you somebody that's waiting on courtship, when he come around, a dude like him, he going to bite. Yeah. But if you just dating, to be dating like casually or whatever. Which is like seven out of 10 women is just dating to yeah. be dating. Yeah. And guys as well. Uh, and that's, that's the number by a little high with guys. <laughs> that's the problem I'm I'm facing as of late because I did the whole whole thing for Valentine's Day like, yeah, room, mm-hmm. gifts. I'm talking about that nigga. Had, rose petals. That, no, let me. Lights, I'm, a, I, yeah, yeah, picture, I'm more picture, 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 I'm an artist. Picture, I can draw picture, shit. Shout out to a boogie motherfucker. Let me see it. Go yeah. ahead. Let me see it. Uh, you come in, bow. I can show you the video already. But <laughs> you come in, bow. Boom, rose petals all from the front door of the room. Boom, you bend the corner of the bed, rose petals up on the bed. He got, he got he got he got his candles room. everywhere. His candles everywhere. Then he got okay. the bear in the middle. It's a it's a real teddy bear covered in, in uh purple roses. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Pink. Pink, pink roses. Yeah, pink was for me. And then and it's big though. It's like a foot and a half tall and wide. And then it's money, like twenty dollar bills and a heart mm-hmm. around the teddy bear. Oh, and then one. in the be in the middle of the teddy bear's leg. It's an open one of them. Bow. So you know it's jewelry in that thing. Okay. I was about to say the ring already? Damn. I don't know what. It was a necklace? What was it? It was a necklace with her name you, on it. You sure? You know, How long y'all been dating? I'm, I'm, I want to punch his fucking head off. You a stupid. Month. A month? Yeah. And that's what she get off? Ham time. That's, Ham that's, time. That's, yeah. that's my regular though, to be honest with you. Man, this nigga, he not lying. He, That's did, my he just did the same dumb shit. It wasn't Valentine's Day, but man, fuck it. But we ain't even gonna follow this nigga up like that. But <laughs> this what I be trying to say, right? Nigga, if you not gonna, well, I'm the nigga with, you know, T, you know me. Mm-hmm. You know I'm ignorant as fuck. Like, say it, go ahead. No disrespect. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm the nigga with the bitches. If you gonna listen to somebody about bitches, nigga, listen to me. <laughs> you don't do that because it does more harm than good if you're oh, not dealing with. A woman of a certain exactly. caliber because she exactly. doesn't know enough exactly. to even interpret what the fuck you're doing. What you're doing. She can't exactly. even appreciate it the right yes. way. So you're giving her too much way too fucking early. Too she doesn't even understand. She got to try to ask her friend, what this mean, girl? He did all. She don't even know what the fuck she's doing. And so let it be a bitch that's not feeling you. Bro, now she just hamming the fuck out you like, oh, exactly. I wasn't even Bruh. fucking with dog, but he coming cheese. Let me go ahead and I, I, I milk the fuck out the car. No, that's a fact. That's what so I'm saying. So what I'm saying is go the way how you do. let a girl know or a woman know how it is over here ain't with money, cuz. But you know, I, I got some advice from, uh, like I said, my mans. For, for men, the relationship can only necessarily, this is just what I believe and he mm-hmm. believe. Mm-hmm. The you woman, ain't in a relationship. You in a motherfucking but look, social interaction. The woman women. has to choose you first. That's the only way. That's when it's real, fool. That's period, bro. No, it's not, nigga. This, this is what I'm trying you to say. You stupid. I'll see a bitch from down the street. She ain't never seen me out. Run, draw, catch up with that bitch fucker that night. You stupid. She fuck still, is you talking about? She still has to I'm sorry, you. Tia, but I'm just saying. She still has that's to choose That's true, you. though. I, I, I believe But that's, that's real. That's when it's real. A you man can, technically chooses the woman first. 
she the gotta woman approve. has to approve. She the gatekeeper. Choose him too. She, because if y'all ain't got that same mutual, but that's when it it's ain't. real. You can be smooth enough and smoother out the pussy. Like what y'all doing? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm saying when it's when you if you're going for something real, then that applies. She has no, to no, choose you as fact. well. But she might just be fucking with the vibes because you fly or some shit like that or whatever. You, I tell them all the time. Mm. Every girl just want to have fun. Tia, I'm, I That's swear, true. you know how I talk. I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to keep apologizing a thousand times. <laughs> but uh, it, me and Tia ain't never talked to no crazy shit like that. But she, we hung out as mm -hmm. friends, you know, exactly. and you had a great time. Yep. Every girl want to have a good time. That's you show true. a girl a good yep. time, she want to come back, bro. It ain't about the money because you spent money. But you know what's crazy? If she got enough money that day, and she don't like you for real, exactly. No, listen, no, that's a fact. If she don't like you for real, and she got enough money that day, she gonna go with the nigga who gonna show her a good time, cause you just got the money. That's a fact. Fuck the money. That's a fact. Keep your money. Girls don't never know how much money I make, how much money I got. Nothing. Don't do that. Show them a good time, right? Mm -hmm. Be nice to them. Smile, cause you got a nice smile. That's, that's show your dimples. Show your dimples. That the works. And my fuck the shit out <laughs> Not of the her. The dimples, though. <laughs> that works my fuck favorite. the shit out of her. Okay, Mike. I think it depends on what you are looking for at that time. Like, if you looking for something serious. But this I'm what I'm saying. Serious, but Tia, we both know it. It don't matter what you looking for. Like you say, she got to choose. choose. You. That's a fact. So no matter what, no matter who the woman is, she sets the tone. So okay, you approach her, and now she approves. To what I level though? She approved like he cool to talk to, but I, I wouldn't be with him. Yeah, yeah, I fuck him, but I want to be singing with him. You or know you know, it, it's levels. I think it's true only because when I met my man, now I've been with him for like what? Ever? Yeah, a long ass time. <laughs> when I met, when I met Tia, Shout out to bro. she she was already yeah. he was already in the picture. But he didn't see himself getting into a committed relationship, but because of the woman that I am yeah. and was then. I set that tone. That's a fact. He thought he was about to get in. She and put get that out. motherfucker thing on his ass. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't going nowhere. Sit your stupid ass He's down. <laughs> and she got a yellow nigga. Sit your little light skinned ass down, boy. Facts. <laughs> and he owned enough, too, ain't he? Yeah. He locked in. And he ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah. He, he never was. He just didn't know it. Yeah. He was never going anywhere. He the just way didn't he know put it. it, he said he was too afraid to admit it. Oh, I remember back in the day with the stories. I remember the stories. It's stories, right? <laughs> you know, it's it's tight. But I remember stories like yes. niggas sitting around popping shit like, bro, we that ah 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 ah, and you like, niggas like, shut up. <laughs> you remember that? It was like a New Year's or something. Niggas popping shit ah ah, we nigga ain't no nigga doing nigga. We didn't had so many. Mm, we came through here, and niggas like, bro, what are you doing? You know what I mean? I remember that. I remember. You just don't forget certain <laughs> shit. But all right, all right, all right. So then I got a question to you because this is the first time we we have. A woman on the podcast, on. and we have a lot of women listeners that feel like we don't know what the fuck we talking about half probably the time. Don't. We no nine times out of ten we probably we don't. don't. <laughs> but, but, uh, that nigga don't. I, I, but I, most, I know women. Most, I study women. I most PhD. most of women, most our women listeners agree with me on how to court a woman necessarily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this. So I did X Y and Z. I just told you what I did for baby girl. Right. She's still acting a fuck a fool. Still acting a little. Cause that shit don't matter, stupid. That's, but that's why I'm, I'm learning. But but the point Good is. Good report matter, bro. I'm no, no, definitely. But the only question I got is when women say they want one thing, mm -hmm. why they act opposite? Cause they don't know what they want. It's your that's job that. to give them. No, 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 no. Bro, it's I'm telling you. Why it's you? Why that's why you that's why I want, I want, I want a woman to speak that. that. No, that's why I want a woman to speak on that. Listen, she want to be happy. She want to be pleased. That's true. That's it. Nigga, stop complicating simple shit. They are complicated. Make them happy. They are complicated. Make them smile. But, <laughs> but that's not for us to be a part of. We just be the, like, it's like um, like a ruler, mm -hmm. right? You got the inches and you got the centimeters. Mm -hmm. and the centimeters is the complications that I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> I'm just there for them because I'm supporting you because we're doing this. Right. But once you get to that next big line, that's the big shit, like, Satisfaction. Something you gotta be proud yeah. of. Yeah. Satisfaction. Happy. But l let me say this from growing up, growing up with women. Sometimes you gotta pay attention to them centimeters before you get to the big point so you That's can understand too. the You'll whole You'll lose your fucking mind. You nope. will, but you have nope. to. Women are it very detailed. Those yes. centimeters yes. aren't the same every time, though. Yes. They're so, different. Okay, so let me just say this. So you know how you went out all out for baby girl whatever yeah. Valentine's mm -hmm. Day? My man, like when he came to Valentine's Day, he was very, very simple, but it was very, he Heart paid up. attention to, to detail. Details, right. 
like little stuff that I said, you know, throughout. He was taking notes. He was taking notes, and it bam. Every girl tell you that, what they want. That let me know, like, okay, you listening? You feel me? That's like, why that I try let to me tell. Know, you know, you feeling what I got going on or whatever. You hear me, basically. So you just doing all of that? What if she ain't want all of that? Look, look, well, look. She don't care about all fucking teddy bear roses. On all the gifts she got. No, no, no. But look, this is what I did. So she didn't tell me about none of the gifts I got her. She didn't say anything. We didn't mm -hmm. even discuss the gifts. All I did was look on her Instagram story, and she said, "Oh, I like this, or I want this." So, oh, so I she was throwing hints. She was throwing hints on purpose, on purpose, yeah. on purpose because Fair. she knew I was <laughs> looking. Purpose. She knew I was looking, but never said nothing to me. So I literally but that, went that and got technique. every little yeah. thing that everything that that she, was displayed was mm -hmm. everything that so she. You paid attention to that's what too. I'm saying. Yeah, but she too new for you to be doing that much homework, nigga. She ain't uh, man. Listen, hey, now let me talk to you for a second. <laughs> Don't forget who the fuck you is, nigga. Oh, I'ma always be blue, bro. Nah, fuck blue, nigga. I don't, nigga. Even don't think it's about that. No, because you still forgetting that she got to prove herself as worthy as well before and you start jumping out the window and doing too that, much. That's my problem. That's right why there. niggas be cuffing. That's my problem, right there. Look, that's, that's why niggas said. be cuffing dog holes that fuck everybody. You can see the bitch like that. She's a dick. You see that? That's how that happened. Let a girl set the tone. That's why I say she approves to what extent. She has to approve. Yeah, you're right. But to what and extent? You let a girl set the tone. And that's why I said I had to... And then you lead in that direction. Exactly. That's, that's, that's the only problem that I always mess up at, kid. Like, mm -hmm. I I go out, it'd be like, all right, I'm going to show you what I'm about first. I don't, like, you can show me what you're about, but I'm about to lay it all out on the table, what you about to get into. Because I, with me, or I try to tell a woman... Dealing with me, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let all my demons out. I'm gonna mm -hmm. let you know who I am first. But that's and a lot coming off. Oh like, God! Just, just that's why you don't got no bitches. Like, Stop gotta, doing that's, stupid that's, that's shit. Yeah, because women, one, we don't like over emotional men. That's right. Because men don't like overly emotional that. women neither. Because one thing that. that I know, even though I was just like fangirling over my man before I met him, he ain't know that shit. And he was like, "That's that's what point that like that's what led me to you because." You wasn't fangirling, like you wasn't like a groupie. Instability is unattractive. No, no, that's like it's unattractive. Fact. I mean, but if you period. see somebody, I will say this: if you see somebody that you like, that you want, that you want a wife, not no maybes, not no, it's I gotta have her. Yeah, that's, that's when, when you when pull I, out the big shit. That's when you pull. That's, that's what you do. You can do it for everybody month. though. But but everybody no. I talk to is good looking. He got I hell. Pick, no. Sandwich pick. ass, Cause lick dude, ass dude, nigga. That's my thing. That's definitely. I don't go into talking to no girl without thinking. I'm not. I'm not gonna even take it to the point of us talking if I haven't already envisioned some type of future with you. Like I just don't. I just don't believe. But do you see a future with every woman that you talk to? Pretty believe much. it or not, yes. Yes. Ham. Yes. Fucking like a true <laughs> lick-ass, yes. ham-ass, simp-ass nigga. Now, I, don't know, I don't know if you believe in Zodiac signs or not, but I'm a Pisces. So it'd be like, that don't I mean over... Shit. But Pisces is trouble, though. He oh. is still... On top of... Look, that's the fucked up part. Oh, on top of all this, he's still Pisces. trouble. Explain that. He's still oh. trouble on top of all this goofy shit. Explain Listen, that. I only dealt with one Pisces back in the day. Like That was, that was like my first, first boyfriend. And this man was cheating on me, but he came to my house. Like, he wasn't even driving at the time, so he got his mama car, came to my house, cried on my shoulder, and still was doing his, like, no, that nigga like, to go. Yeah, <laughs> we, are, we are definitely put on a good ass performance. Yes. We are manipulative. Yes. Right, come on, guys. Good, now, check this out. Now, so, 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 we, we, we got, like, a 45 piece left, right? And I want to make the most of it, right? Okay. Nah, Tia, it's us. Women say m men are men anymore, right? Okay. And they no longer do the things that they used to do back in the day, right? Like, men ain't men no more. Men used to act. Mm -hmm. uh, it say, however, men do those things every day. Maybe just not your man, bitch. You get what I'm saying? Oh. Like, think about it. They say men ain't men no more. Men used to shovel the, the, the streets and shovel out uh, the and Bitch, it's buildings being built every day. <laughs> it's people welding every day. It's people sawing and lumberjacks and laying some men and not the lumberjacks. Bitch, it's just that it's just that your man and the people around you not doing it, but it's still happening every day. Your man That's not true. doing it. So don't make a general statement like men ain't men no more. So who the fuck still doing all the jobs that was being done back then? Because they still getting done. That's a fact. So I fuck think on. When it comes to women saying that, they more so talking about the things around the house, like 
nowadays men are more welcome to or more um open to compromising oh you take out the trash this day and i take out the trash this day or you pay, let's, the let's, trash. let's go <laughs> half on the bills or this day and third like you know what i'm saying well, like I, I don't, I like that's not being a man to me because I was raised with my granddad and my father, you know what I'm saying? And they took that responsibility, regardless of whatever else was going on, they took that responsibility of providing. But what was your mom or your grandma or whoever? What and was, that's why I was, what was their responsibility? The kids, the house. Thank you. So don't call me and say, can you make her a bottle? Can you, no, 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 can you no, change no, her diaper? No, Wait, look, no, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm if I went to work, no, 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 but, no but, but hear me out. If I just went to work and I come home mm -hmm. and I haven't been home for a complete like 20 minutes and you ask me to get the child or get the baby or change her diaper or do this, no, I just came from work. Okay, so mental health matters. If a woman Bingo. is at home all day with a baby or a child, mm -hmm. You got to know that that baby or that child is running her crazy. Okay, but you know when we go out there, we, we, we fight battles, right? Yeah. So Major the problem. thing yeah. is, it's, it's about it. balance. So because I went through this, we already voiced that side, and then we voiced this side, yep. and we figured out, okay, so you need, I need, I, balance. So when I come home, allow me to shower and wind down first, mm -hmm. and I don't mind taking over for a while to give you a break. Yep, that's just and that's respect. Just, that's yep. how we, yeah. But still, no, fuck that though. I don't want to be friends about it. <laughs> um, also, there was a mentality, uh, it was a mentality that women back then carried that women now don't have. They were really there for their men. Like, they were there for them. These bitches be like, me, 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 me. Bitch, bitch, fuck you and your mama. Are, women are more prone to being Self, yes. Self-efficient. Yes, exactly. Okay, that's fine. So, what? but it's I feel like it's a man's fault because if a woman if a woman I agree with you right would have gotten dog stop dick sucking like far beat your ass <laughs> no I agree no with that's her. very true because if if anything especially a black woman we gonna stand by ours. That's facts. No, that's we that's gonna, why we love y'all. We gonna stand by ours exactly. That's so if y'all if we gonna stand by y'all, y'all gonna keep doing us dirty. It's just okay. now that we realizing that we do have a sense of self worth. We okay. do have but, oh. the ability to be independent. Like we don't need y'all. Yeah. So that's uh, what I do. Mean. Uh, uh, definitely need me. No, yeah, if yeah. a don't, if a woman wants you. Yeah. She's gonna show you that she wants you, but it she we don't. I think that I think it depends on if she requires what I have now. to offer. But that mindset right there is so detrimental, and women don't realize how much that. Like that's why I say God created Adam and Eve for a reason. That's as true. much as we we both need each other, and that's the problem yeah, with this we, generation we is that definitely we need, need each, both other. each other. We need each other, but men are known to take advantage of women. That's a and fact. that's what I mean when I say we are like learning that we like, don't have to. Yeah, like like doing wrong. Just I provide. I, I, somebody I, I, I do doing this, us and wrong. then I just do yeah. wrong. I do whatever I want and just take no, care of the crib. We, we know that we true. deserve it. Like it's a it's several memes but going out that even, saying that black women deserve luxury. Luxury includes a man that don't cheat. Yeah, but. Don't Marriage. get it fucked up, black women. <laughs> I just don't want y'all to get confused by this beautiful black lady. That's giving out facts. Wait, right no, no, no. Bitch, don't think you about to just be getting shit on GP, stupid. What the fuck do you have to offer? What are you doing? And, what are you contributing? And you don't get it just because you. we're here. That's the problem. So that I'm your doing. performance dictates what the fuck comes your way. I don't want so you to if, ever mistake So what that. if our performance dictates what you bring to the table? It does. That's what I just said. Y'all performance dictate what I bring to the table. And that's yes, hundred no. percent. That's if that. you a shit girlfriend, I'm not going above and beyond for you, girl. Fuck you. When you improve, I'll improve with you. I cannot operate up here and you operate down here. Because think about this. Think about this. Let's say I lead by example. I'm a man. That's my job. That's a fact. Right? Mm -hmm. I lead by example. You're a woman. You follow. I'm here. You're here. I'm doing a bunch. I'm doing a lot. I'm doing the fucking most. You carry it right now. Yeah. It's a team. And yeah. then you go, oh shit, I'm reaping a lot. Now, anybody with good sense would be like, I need to up my fucking game and come closer. You ain't got to go. Like I always say, ways. You ain't, it ain't got to be 50 50. You go 40, I'll take the 60. You get that what I'm saying? That goes both ways, though. That definitely goes both but ways. But what I'm saying is this, because I'm speaking from a male perspective. Okay. I'm just saying that. Let me hear you. Don't now. think that I'm some male in your family or something. Don't think I'm like your dad or like a grandpa or uncle or something. I'm not none of them. They did things for you. 
and they didn't expect anything back because you were a child. <laughs> Bitch! But they also set the bar. Yeah, but, they definitely set the bar. But this is the thing that people miss out on. Uh -huh. They didn't expect anything back. All you had to do was be a kid, go to school, get good grades, whatever. You didn't do nothing for them individually as a person, right. exclusively. Yeah. Bitch, we adults. You have an obligation. But you we know, in a commitment. You, what you give a woman, she multiplies. That's a fact, too. So if, if she's she not multiplying, know. then you in the wrong. You are with the wrong per person because you him at this point you 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 feeding it too soon like you you giving too soon right, you giving your this. all to somebody that's not willing to multiply for i'm you. glad you said that there you go. so look real quick mental picture me example mm -hmm. giving you the opportunity to follow you don't follow me come down to your fucking level i agree with i agree what you gonna say what you gonna say, what you, gonna say? you can't say shit you can't say shit. I'm on your level, sis. Yep. And we're going to build together. We're going to go up together. But until then, we're here together. And Tia, my mama always said this. And this one thing I respect my mama and how she raised my little sisters. Mm -hmm. A man can only do what, what a woman allows him to. Yeah, that's true. So when women say... You be saying some whole ass shit. No, I'm, that's no, I'm still learning that, though. A I'm man can only do what you what allow, you allow him, him to do. Yeah. And th this is the problem that I have. Y'all have always had. I don't like how you talk. Yeah, no, but listen, <laughs> they have always. <laughs> I don't like how you talk. <laughs> for real, listen. They have what you always, mean, bro? Because they have always had the power. So we I be confused when, when, when I see women on, on yeah. mine complaining, oh, <laughs> This nigga ain't doing this. This nigga ain't doing shit. Well, something about you makes that nigga feel like he can do the bare minimum and still be with you. Exactly. So my problem with women is y'all don't take the full responsibility. It's always niggas ain't shit, but not that I'm allowing this nigga to not be shit and I'm continue to enable this behavior. Exactly. And we don't, I, don't, I will say that most women that are self-sufficient, that don't necessarily, like when they date somebody or when they bring somebody in, they add into what they already have. That's a fact. You feel me? So when you run into a woman like that, they could be so used to carrying everything on their own. They're like, okay, what you got is just extra. But what my mom I had to let me sex. know yeah. is no, he's there. So right. you have to make what you need known. Definitely. Say, hey, yeah. even if you don't necessarily need it, like you know you could do it on your own. You can you can front the bill on Absolutely. your own. But say, hey, babe. This is what I need from you today. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, if that man is for you, he's he going to show it. up and show out. Oh, yes. Every time. Every yes. single like, time. You understand that most women don't do that. And they just expect. And it, it's it's a very, like, um, it's a transitional state that it women is. are in. Where they're coming from um, teenagers into young adults. Mm -hmm. And they just kind of don't know sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, because you're inexperienced. You have to kind of go through it to know sometimes. That's facts. And that's cool. And uh, I to all some of the conversations me and you used to have, yeah, it was crazy. Out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, to to my young men crazy. out there, sometimes you gotta be patient, but you also have to be like attentive so that you understand why things are happening the way that they're happening and where your partner's coming from, so that you can be the man and teach. Some a lot of people say you ain't supposed to teach you, you ain't did that. No, 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 nigga. Everybody needs because women, still, because women still teach you. Exactly. You something that's a fact. And and, and you even how to love you them. can learn from a baby, bro. So if you mm -hmm. got that much pride, you I I you, you don't know nothing. We ain't talking to nope. no people. You niggas is dumb. Fuck them. But that's, that's in reality, you, you just pay attention. You be attentive to your partner, mm -hmm. so that you understand them, so that you can deal with them accordingly, right? Yep. Now let me ask that's you. That's very important. Yeah, that's for sure. Very important. You know, I know because that's very that, important. that was the basis of our conversation. Exactly. She she was she was my very close friend mm -hmm. when Shug was here. Okay, so yep. she so she, she helped you navigate through. Yeah, we we had a lot of deep conversations. A but, lot. Yeah, for sure. So I you, think one went just one in particular went left, and we both was like, yeah. We mad at each other. Oh, I, I don't <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little I don't, bit. I don't remember. <laughs> but it, it told but, us but, but, he ain't want to hear that. But but still, at the same time, because uh, a lot of people used to tell me shit that I didn't want to hear when it came to that. Because in reality, it was like, no, nah, nigga, you doing too much. Like that, that's wrong. She, whatever, you know. <laughs> a lot of people was like, okay, it's time to kind of like, you know. Cause, Cut ties, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, me, I'm, 
Damn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Look, look, nah, I'm a damn, bitch. Come on, I got faith in you. Uh, what they, the little, the little, uh, what's the name that could or whatever? Like, yeah, come on, I got faith in you. I got, chuck, 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 chuck. Chuck. Come on, bitch, little nigga. Look, come on. But anyway, long story short, now, I just want to ask you just in, in, in plain and simplest terms, mm -hmm. how important is money when it comes to your partner and a man? How important is money? Stability is always going to be number one. No, no, no. no, no but, but watch what she say. Just, okay. just hold your tongue because right. she knows something. I don't want to say I know something. No, 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 no. I know you know credit. something. No, I know you know something. You're an author, so you know something. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. The next one's going to be New York's bestseller, but we're oh, going to speak on it. We're going to speak okay. it to existence, though. I will say this is also something that I had to learn because being so self-sufficient as a woman, I'm like, I got it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, if you in my life, I want you in my life. I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have a lot of male associates. Like, if I want you in my life, you're in my life. If I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm that picky of a person. I'm also that secure in myself to where it's like, I don't care mm -hmm. what they think because I don't have this. You know what I'm saying? So, when it came to my relationship, mm -hmm. I was technically making... You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, damn. But it's also. And she because, accomplished too, so at the end yeah, of the day, so it's like. It has a lot to do with that. Even though. It, he didn't give a fuck though, system, did he? No, I, he didn't. See, That's another thing. But too. Her, her dude, you see what she said, not to cut you off. Remember what you were finna say. But, not. Nah, I'm just saying it because he need help. <laughs> <laughs> you remember at the beginning, she said that he picked her because she went to the fans of and all the bitches went. Yeah, exactly. He a nigga who get all the bitches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, That's that means yeah. he used to being the nigga. He just, the, wait, Men like wait, 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 no, 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 you don't, you don't get where I'm going. He used to being the nigga. So, when his woman, who he picked, made more than him, he wasn't intimidated by it. It didn't mean nothing to him in a bad way. It was good because more money for us is just more money for us. Mm -hmm. He wasn't intimidated. He was secure because he knew that his place with her wasn't financial. Mm -hmm. Make sure your strengths ain't the finances because exactly. how you gonna bag a bitch who don't need you for money, dog? Like what you gonna do? Oh, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah so, a fact. so have focus to have on more value. You yeah, have my, to have my more shit value. don't come from fight. Bitches never know how much money I make, nigga. Never. It's like a touchy subject though when it comes to like people uh, bagging people for money. Like, no, niggas, like niggas and bitches do that. Yeah, that's that's the no, 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 they do, that's they the do goals. both. We ain't them people. No, so no. I'm just saying, that's you a, personally, too, yeah, yeah, you personally focus on your strengths that mm -hmm. are not financial when it comes to relationships. Because what is a bitch gonna want you for if she don't need you for money? That's a fact. But keep going. A too. bitch will want you if, you if she don't need you for money, because this is what I was getting at. I didn't need him now, for money. Why she start naming him. all the shit bitches like me for? Go on. <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I'm just trying to show good. Anything. Like, I was able to provide for But what myself. you wanted them for? Security. Hmm. The love. Okay. The loyalty. Okay. When it comes to. Okay, Dick, so, girl. Yeah. Dick. You yeah, gotta put that out there. <laughs> the good time, the great time. Yep. He make you somebody smile, he make you feel warm, you, all in here and shit. Somebody that loves you, somebody that Support makes you, you smile. He got your back, you, encouragement. Got your back. Best interest. Like, any, like, it all comes down to who you feel safe with. That's what I'm I can't go out with nobody that gave me butterflies and got me jittery and shit like that. No. If I feel safe with this man. Oh, you mean like he. Like, he just, he just there for a good time. He just there to show me a good time. That's yeah. it. That's but all you're going to give But you don't feel safe with him, like. Exactly. Yeah. So when some shit going down, you don't know he, he got probably you. hiding behind you. Right, like, oh, shit, get down. Oh, mine's, he covering me like, yeah, oh, Hold on, babe, watch out. Yeah, like, let you. me jump in front of this for you. Yeah, I got Every you. Every man is not willing to do that because they right. what? They're the show, yeah. to showboat and, you know, Wine and dine, and, and they're not really there for really you. Really, yeah. more about them. A lot of their moral and tendencies are of a woman. Yeah. So oh, that's a they don't even know nothing about being the protector and stuff like that. But I just, I just be trying to point shit out for my boy right here because I hate mm -hmm. to see him spending money. So I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that, yeah, you, you can't think that. Sure, how he is over here with money like this. Met money? No, Wait, don't show your money. Money don't really play a part. For some women, it does. I would say that some women it does. But, but do you part. want them? But when, but for me, as like just speaking on me, because I can only speak for myself. Mm -hmm. When it came to money, it didn't really matter because if you got everything else that I want in a man, 
money can be changed. Right. And if I am who yeah, I, I say that. I am, I can put you on. You feel right. me? You that? Like to where that money thing won't even be a problem no more. So at that point, you That's the real. total package. That's real. Woman you feel right me? There. But a lot of women are not that. willing to do you that anymore me? because men has taken advantage of it. I understand that point too. But you got to know who you doing it for. Yeah. Like if it was just a like I won't do it for anybody. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Because he had to have some when he was coming to me. No, this no, man, no, no, no. He you gotta degree, have something. A house, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, no, no. Dog was all when I met you. Dog already was already out of. He already graduated. Exactly. Yeah. And so he was. Don't think he's talking about a poop butt here. Right. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> he was by my side while yeah. I finished college. Like he True. was keeping me on track. Like yeah, no, keep, you gotta finish this. Like yeah. he was encouraging me to reach my goals and stuff like that. Yeah. So how could I not? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I know. Once we get to where we want to be, and no oh, pockets sure. is as fat as mine, or you know what I'm saying, like we equally, you know, paid. Oh, he gonna show Sky, up. Yeah, sky the limit. Nah. Because what he what he shows out was what he already has now. Absolutely. So I can only imagine what that. Shout out to dogs. He speaks so highly like. of you, and I did. Listen, wait, no, no, wait, no, 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 And I'm having like to kid. learn this, like. like Shout out to the fellow light skins. You out here representing, nigga. You making this look good. Okay, keep it up. Because he's speaking highly of you, nigga. And, no, and, and like I'm saying, first off, don't think that you're showing the value when you show money. Because first at all. off, money not ain't at all. even valuable. Value comes from your it's character. Not, it's not. And value then, and that's, from your character. But I just. Uh, and that's why I keep that. trying to tell them intangibles is how you fuck bitches, nigga. But you know I intangibles. Got intangibles. I always. But you're trying to fuck them off tangibles all the time, nigga. No, no, no. no. I feel it's, like it's, it's only because security. you grew up in that household of women. His first off, listen. I, first his mama fine date. as fuck, I'm and his daddy be bowing down because he married to her. That's different. They married. Yeah. She fine as fuck. I'm gonna bow down to her fine ass too if she was my wife. How did they get married though? He How wasn't bowing down at first. That's what he be trying to tell him. He didn't bow down in the beginning. He did. They got married because he was being a man. He bowed down. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. You dick sucking ass nigga. I'm, 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 I'm gonna fight your ass up too. Well, don't get that top. Um, yeah, get that top. It all depends on the man and like what he sees in that woman. Like a man can see a woman and want her fully. And bow down to her. You just can't give that to everybody. I feel like you. No, should, that's my problem. Yeah, you should save your pockets. For that one, now you listen, know what I mean? that, but you, you also you, have to grow up within yourself. Like you have to mature within yourself to know, okay, you it's not this. It's not just a pussy. It's not just a fun time. Exactly. It's not just the looks. This is somebody that I actually want to be with. Like I yeah. want to spend my life See? with. When you find that one, and trust me, you're not gonna be able to deny the feeling. That's what like, she Like you're not gonna be able to deny <laughs> I, the feeling. I, I, I always do my fucking job. I'm a journalist, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? This is my demon. This ain't no regular shit going on, no, punk. No, no. All right, but check this out now. Now let's say we're we have a relationship, right? We're on our own relationships, okay. and we have issues that are persistent. And the person is fully aware because you have brung it to their attention and uh -huh. you guys have discussed it like in a grown up way. Right. In a grown up way and uh, it's persisting. Mm -hmm. Apologies take place, but there's no change behavior. So Where do you go from here? I would feel like it's only so much that you can do. Okay, so if I tell you one time, you know what I'm saying, this is what's bothering me, you're like, all right, I'm going to change it. Boom. Mm -hmm. And don't change. All right, everybody's human, you know. It's, and if we create a habit, it's, it's hard to get out of that Easily habit. Easily create it, hard to break. Yes. So, okay, I'll tell you twice. Listen, this is bothering me. What about when we get to 10? <laughs> and you ain't you ain't listening still? Okay, well, I, now I got to look at myself. I got to do I'm something. Not, I got to do something. Not, maybe I'm not communicating this in a correct way. Mm, you didn't. And if you're not receiving it, then, you know, we got to talk. After the third time, that's up to you to make that discretion if I want to be with this person, if I want to actually hold his hand through this, or do I want to bounce? You know what I'm saying? Or her, him or her. It could it could go both ways. So if you want to be with that person and you feel like they're worth waiting for or waiting to see that change, then, you know, by all means. But you got to have some type of security within yourself or, like, self-worth within yourself to know what your limit is. Absolutely. Because they're only going to abide by that. Right. They're only going to go as now far as you allow up. them to go. And that's, that goes back to that. But it also goes for men and women. See, and okay. this and this is, uh, I hate to say it, because, damn, mm -hmm. we, we had those conversations when I was, what, 21 years old? And I still... We were babies. <laughs> and, and I still kind of have that because um, 
Nah, it's a blessing and a curse to have your pick with women. It's a blessing and a curse to, to kind of like have an endless uh, supply of women. Uh, definitely. So. That's true. When I was younger, I developed the habit of like, girl, fuck you, get another one. Girl, fuck you, get another one. And then once That's you come to one that you care yeah, about, habit. you can't really like decipher when it's time to say, girl, fuck you. Because you know you, you're you you're not a, an idiot, so you know that you have always said, girl, fuck you, prematurely. Mm -hmm. Now, you have issues, and uh -huh. you don't kind of know where the threshold is for girl, fuck you. You don't know, because you like always said it prematurely. You don't know when it's actually time to say, girl, fuck you. That's why. Because I'll always be like, you but offended me. You stupid. You, Bye. If you at that point, though, that means you really care about that person. So that means you I need cared to about that person. You need to start listening to that person and then you figure out what you can do and what you can't do. Because some women try to change me and don't try to better me. Mm -hmm. like that's that's right. that's run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. Some women try to change me and then not try to they don't try to better me. <clears throat> like, that's that's, that's two different things. Stop digging. Stop digging. Stop digging. That's two different things. Yes. Don't think that, first of all, I'm a fan of Tia. You know, you yeah, know yeah, when you yeah, got yeah. a good uh, she got musical artist. Mike. She got a new fan. I'm buying the mic. I'm buying the listen, promises today. You know when you got a musical yeah, yeah. artist you find, mm -hmm. and they be dope, and you be about to tell everybody, you be like, nah. I'm going to get this to myself. Look, when they blow up, look, when they blow up mm -hmm. everybody be a fan. You be like, yo, I don't know you're ready yet. I don't know That's how I feel like. That's how I feel like. I'm not a fan for real. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like. Like yes, I, there at the beginning. Yeah, nigga, I been, I was, I was like mm -hmm. fake shooting. I wasn't shooting in the gym, but I was definitely like getting the rebound passing back to her. Like you was there. For yeah, sure. I was there. <laughs> I wasn't shooting with sure. you, but I was getting the rebound yeah. passing it back. You get me? And that's but, how we so locked in now. Really, like, and that's mm -hmm. the crazy part. We was just talking about that earlier because we had one of our classmates, or not classmates, but yeah, one of our like yeah, school, uh, school guys from school, high school, passed recently, mm -hmm. like in the last few days, and we was like, damn, it's so crazy that. We haven't seen this man in almost a decade. Mm -hmm. And it brought tears to our eyes to see him perish, you mm -hmm. know? And I was like, damn, it just speaks volumes about how beautiful of a soul he was. Exactly. You know what I mean? so, that's all And I that's how it is. Mean, like, it don't matter. Yep. It don't matter how much time. Like, I, I, I bumped into you in the mall one mm -hmm. day. Like, oh shit! Like that's ah! what I don't listen. listen. We like yo. I was walking hand in hand with my man, and I Bro. had to stop. I'm like, wait a minute, is that mine? <laughs> I haven't seen him so long. Yeah. Like, I'm like, baby, hold on. And right. I had when I, I literally. Right, he kept it. You, you know, this nigga club. player, he just kept walking. Yeah. Like, go ahead. Yeah. I already know it. <laughs> God, it like, <laughs> but I literally kept, went up to him and hugged him yeah. while I was with my dude just yeah. because of the connection that we have. Like, it's just I love, honestly bro. feel like we are like, we locked in as lifetime friends. Yeah. This for sure. is, you know how they say you meet your, your lifetime friends in college? Mm -hmm. Well, I took a two year break. And this is when hey, Yeah, day. absolutely. I 100%. took a two year break. And I'm there, Mike, yeah. and we still locked in. We've been locked in the whole time. Yes. He's solid. He's solid. Little yes. Crazy, but he, he did well, 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 first off, that's what makes me so interesting. If yeah. I was, if I actually only spoke what I thought, I would mm -hmm. be too deep for everybody, unappealing, mm -hmm. and I would get no bitches. I needed that edge. Mm -hmm. Thank God I'm prepared to come. Shout out to you. No way. But all right, come on. Moving on, cruising on. Let's keep it going because we get a little bit short yeah, on time. We got, we got like a dog left. We got 20 minutes. And it's, I'm sorry, man, you got to come back. Oh, uh, you definitely, you definitely Listen, gotta come back. I'm with we it. just so we just got clearance that mm -hmm. we can't have four in here now. Okay. So it, it usually just be me, him, and Ken. Mm -hmm. But now Ken is his baby shower today, so mm -hmm. he not here. Okay. But now we can have four. Yeah, shout Ken's out. That's again. exciting. Shout we about to have a nephew. <laughs> you know That's exciting. Mean? Is yeah, as, as, oh, this, the PK is be know, killing me, dog. The Lord is in here with us. The president of the Lord is here. All right, all right, check this out. All right, like we spoke about earlier, men are not allowed to have feelings. That's a myth. That's not true. That's Girls not don't think true. like that. Girls don't want you to be unstable. That's a fact. So they know we feel things, but. Don't react to everything. I don't even think you, you shouldn't should. even have an emotional response to everything. That's, but you shouldn't that's even not associate not being um, stable to having an emotional and response. And that's where we fuck up. Well, as let me yeah. clarify. That's exactly yeah. where we fuck up. Not true. Let me clarify. No, that is where y'all fuck up. If you have a and that's where this shit turns into no, aggression. No, no. If you have an emotional response to everything, you do appear to a woman as unstable because everything doesn't even deserve any reaction, especially yeah. not an emotional one. Everything you're right. Exactly. If you if you if you bitching and moaning more than I am, 
See what I'm saying? Then, okay, wait. We got to go back to the drama world. So, what, what's really like going Like I was on? saying, she knows you feel things. Yeah. But it's how you handle those no, feelings. Yeah. So I didn't lash out. I didn't get excited. I didn't do this. But later on, I definitely came and spoke to you about it and mm -hmm. voiced what I felt. And we had a... So now that we got a woman here, I got exactly. a question to yeah. you. So when she hurt my feelings, mm -hmm. and this may be oh, caused no. by... Cause I'm 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 always the first to admit like yeah. hey that hurt my feelings. We, yeah. I like to discuss it cause mm -hmm. I don't like I don't like to let shit build up. Cause when I I had a period where I let shit build up for a five year term and it in, a a a in a relationship and it came back to fuck that me completely, kill me, yes. killed the relationship, killed everything. Mm -hmm. My fault or not my fault, it just killed it. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this from a woman's standpoint, I'm the type to address. So it could be the littlest shit, mm -hmm. but if it hurt my feelings. I want to talk about it. I want to let you know because my whole thing is with that, I'm I'm emotionally intelligent, meaning mm -hmm. that I'm fully aware of my feelings. I'm fully aware of where if I let this shit linger, where it can go to. Mm -hmm. So if I address, say, say I'm your man, I address something, let you know something, something's bothering me, mm -hmm. and I express fully how it makes me feel, right. do you judge me a little bit differently now that I express those feelings to you? Like, damn, this shit hurt my feelings. Shit low key got me sad. You did this X Y and Z. No. Okay. Not at all. I also feel like though again Don't it goes back. Don't be doing back, too much early. Yes, it goes back to that, <laughs> but it also goes back to who you entertaining. If you got your lifetime partner, the somebody that you feel like is gonna ride or die for you. Lifetime partner. Wait, we left the key part out. He love dog hoes. No, I ain't lying. No, 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 I, don't, I, don't, I don't judge to you. Uh, hey, he he love hoes, bitches. This, this my bitches, thing. we know this dog hoes, runners, niggas, knock them down. Look, 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 look. Then them ain't the ones look, that you confess your feelings to. Them the ones that's looking for somebody that ain't got no heart, period. Like, they just and literally I, and my like, heart too damn big. God bless yeah. you, God So bless you need to change the woman that you are attracted to. Not necessarily change it, but you have to reevaluate what, yeah, what you require from a woman. What you want in a woman, you know what I'm saying? What you, your type should change. No, it but definitely should change. It only changes as you evolve. But you know what's so fucked up about me? I attract pain. Like I attract, I attract the most broken women possible. Like you, and yeah, he don't you. understand. And then Everybody I, do. And then but you I got exactly. a fifth arm in their ass. And then exactly. I fix but them, and then also, they leave me fucked up. It also comes back to what you're saying too. Like if you have the mentality, mentality that this is all I attract. That's all you're going to attract. Oh, that's yeah. all because if be you attract, if you have the mentality, exactly. There you go. Exactly. Because if it's in your mind, that's all you're going to see. And you're going to be like, oh, she's broken. This is what I want. You have to. <laughs> Now it comes not back to you. Not that this is what I want, but it'd be nah, like... They nah, I'm so happy. Or, or I'm nah, so happy a woman is saying what me and Kendall you. have been telling your big meathead ass. <laughs> it comes back to you and what you want as a person. It comes back to you and what you allow as a, a man. That's a fact. And your taste in women. That's if you keep attracting or keep um, inviting the same type of woman in, that's... The, the process the will continue. Exactly. The process will exactly. continue, yeah. No, at that time, at that point, you're insane. No, that's what I said. The same thing <laughs> that's is like, doing the same yes. thing over again, expecting it's, different it's, results. Exactly. Look, you know what type of problem you're you want. the same woman and expecting something different. You know what it's type not going to happen. You want the type of problem like this. You got six bitches to choose from. You're like, damn, did I choose the right one? Give me the type of problem you want. Not some little poop up bitch getting over on you because you just emotionally available for any and everybody. And she's giving you everything that she want from the nigga that she really want. Speak on it, Queen. Yeah. It's you the nigga. That's, that's, no, but that's, oh, that's, that's some said. real shit. That's some real shit. So you just, so like I said, bro, I'm telling you, first off, what you saying that the way that you is is based on how you seen your dad interact with you. I don't know. I think that you don't study women like that. No, I don't but I'm not close enough no, no, to no, no, but this, this is the main thing that I, I be realizing about myself and I had to kind of have this conversation. Like people that was raised, like I see, I was raised in a household where I seen a black man correctly love a black woman, mm -hmm. healthy relationship. She no fine issue. as hell. Who not gonna love like, her? Like, right, like, bro. Like, like she, no, he's I'm a never, fine as fuck. T. Never grew up with toxic energy. So in my mind, this is always how a man is supposed to. Because if he wild out, she might leave his ass. No, no, your daddy ain't that cute. Thing, <laughs> you should take that and own it. Like that is your character trait that makes you you. Yeah, exactly. Because a lot of men, one, are only raised by, by women. women, and that's exactly. what. Broken exactly. and emotionally fucked up and all types, and shit. that's when women have to go back and create, recreate that. You know, relearn. Yes, Damn, because I, ain't gonna lie, I, was I grew up with. <laughs> I, I was my only real male males in the house was like super one successful said, players. Said, uh, womanizers. 
No, no, I ain't gonna say womanizers. I'm just gonna say players. These niggas was both married. No, we like when I say all I my family. I swear to God, married, I mean all my family is like committed married. Like it's no. And these niggas no street niggas that got married. Involved. You know what I mean? These niggas yeah. is hood niggas who got married. But they probably it was got players. married because they was pressured into it or something. No, like that. they, you know, cause they like having a little, you, you know. Voice. You hear that voice? Yeah, that's some bullshit about to come out. That's all that is. That's all that <laughs> these are my idols, though, so I can't even say nothing bad about. You ain't gonna say nothing bad. You yeah, ain't gonna say nothing bad about. But these niggas is like, you know what I mean? To me, though. it's like, ah, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even be like this, you know. Yeah. But um, check this out, though. Mm -hmm. Now I just wanna ask this. I had it, and I got so lost in the. In the hold on, hold on, before we get to go that. right ahead. So the reason I say I face the problems I face because I was raised on love, mm -hmm. and I always run into people who was raised on survival. So I always get I this shit in of the stick that. because yeah, I've seen the post. I've seen the post. I'm raised to pour into you. I'm raised to give to give you more than I will take out you. Mm -hmm. So of course I go into every relationship. I'm already up here. I don't expect you to be up here because I, I know you. I know you raised on survival, so mm -hmm. you can't get here. It took steps for me. It took but my that's me too. So it, it's you were raised right? on love. You were raised on love, right? Yeah, yep. not survival. I was raised on survival. Right. Right. I got a little bit of both, but majority of it is love. No, yeah, yeah we, most people, most people got a, like some of both, but mine was definitely like a more of one. More, yeah. No, and I ain't talking 60, 40, I'm talking like an 80, 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But. So was my spouse. Exactly. So when it came to that, I had to learn and say, hey, okay, this is it. And it all comes down to what you're willing to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, I feel like you have to learn yourself as a man. Mm -hmm. You have to become more in tune with who you are. Because once you do that, if you see a chick, say if you, on the first day, you pick a chick up, the way she acting, the way she, you know, the vibe that she give off, right, right, right. you're not going to tolerate it. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, nah. Oh. We're going to cut this short. You know what I'm saying? He because doesn't do that. But that, I but I that's, no. Nah. <laughs> see how he has, listen, no, listen. Once you're right, secure so in who you are, that's the type of vibe you're going to give off. Like, okay, I will entertain you for tonight. But you will is, have, going, you, wait, you, you, you can have my attention at dinner. Do you, do you, no, no, no. Do you hear this black woman talking? She often. But you're going to, mm, this ain't going no fur, further than that's this. That's a fact, and that's where yeah. I fuck All right, so let me ask this right quick. You hear this woman talking to you, right? Uh, big, you see her reinforcing the things that me and Kendall try to tell you. Yeah, it's different coming from it's a, It sounds better, though, when she yeah. says yeah. yeah. like, it. Everything sounds better when she says it. <laughs> she can tell me, boy, fuck you. So, fuck me. <laughs> Who am I? Nobody. Yeah, nobody. I know you've been there, though. Right. I, yeah. Fuck me. I ain't mean, never been disrespected right. and appreciated so much. At the, the same, same time. time. Right. right. At the same damn time. It must I be check magic. It so we try to tell you a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. and you might not believe me, but I know a lot about women because it's what I've cared about for so long. Mm -hmm. So uh, what about this? I, I, I wanted to ask you something, and was it true about women? Mm -hmm. And it was something that you probably didn't even like pay attention to, but I pay attention to it. Right. You get what I'm saying? But I'm high and I can't remember. That. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the next. Yeah, my, my. It was great. It was great, but it, everything else was good. So I was I was into that. But nah, now when it comes to types and stuff like that, you got mm -hmm. types and we got all these different questions. Is, is is marriage even like a thing? Like, do is it is it a necessity now? How do you? Would you being a preacher kid, you probably feel like marriage. Yeah. But you 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 got on but. Oh, you ain't got your leather jacket on today. <laughs> but I'm just saying you're kind of a rebel too, though, so I never know how you might answer. I'm definitely a rebel, but I also, my, like, the way that I brought, I was brought up has a lot to do with the woman that I am today. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah. with me venturing out, okay, so when I was raised, I was raised on the Bible, God, this, that, third, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, going to church every day of the week or every other day, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Monday through Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as an adult, this is what my book talks about, me venturing off to, you know, experience life yeah. and what it has to offer. Yeah. And when I experience life and what it has to offer, I can't run it back to God. You feel me? Right. And that's the story wow. that it tells. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now that I am the way the uh, as old as I am, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna tell my age, but as I, I tell um, <laughs> um, it's a lot that I that has been put in perspective for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
so it comes back to like you know not only what you were brought up on but you being able to live life and understand life on your own terms you feel me Absolutely. like it's it got to be a balance so you have to do a lot of unlearning i'm still unlearning some stuff that my mom taught me because i don't believe in it wow. and i only know that i don't believe in it because i took that time to become the woman that i am you feel me yeah absolutely. like I, I i i took that time to become myself so while she believes in religion and this and that and that you gotta go to church every sunday at this time you gotta be on time you gotta volunteer you gotta do this that no you're like i ain't gotta do none of that for no. real for real my relationship my relationship resides with god and that's wherever I am. And the, and, and 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 that's the extent of it. Yeah. Because it's it's me it's me and the big guy. Like yeah. The other thing is theatrics, and that's what I think. I think that's what you figured out. Of, yep. The rest is just that's smoking comes, mirrors. That's what comes with religion. The, the, the rest, is, the the religion is just smoking with mirrors. Yep. But me and God, mm -hmm. you see what she said? She came back to God. She mm -hmm. didn't come back to Christianity or religion. Yeah. She came back that's to God right. because mm -hmm. no matter what religion you are. God is always God, still and all. No matter what, He's still our Creator. He's still the Most High right. Almighty. So no matter what you go through, you might have figured out, okay, this is some bull. This is a facade. That's smoke and mirrors. This BS, whatever, whatever. And that's but what God you is still God. As a man, because as many women as it sounds like you've entertained, it's been enough. Yeah, no, it's so you been you got to be able to, to you. discern. Tired, Can't wait till you doctor. Okay. You got to be able to discern which. What is what? You know what I'm saying? So when yeah, a woman, but, and as a man, you're going to be able to tell when a woman steps foot in your car. That's how That's how much you got to be on it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just because you was raised on marriage and you was raised on love, you're going to learn that you don't have to always show love and you don't have to always show marriage or commitment right off that. And that's my problem. That, yeah. That's for sure my problem. But it only comes with Little age. Ass nigga. Because I promise you, when I was younger, I was the same way. Like... My goal was to graduate high school, get married, have babies. I didn't even think about going to college. Because and here I am in my master's program. So it's like, yeah, it, it gets there. there. You know what I'm saying? Program. All of that comes with No, this is going to be doctor time. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Facts. Or doctor, uh, what's, what's dog's last name? Tyler Strong. <laughs> oh, she, she, she hyphenated, hyphenated. hyphenated. She it's ain't hyphenated. I love it. She it's like, bitch, I'm not getting rid of my real nigga shit. You can add on. You can only add exactly. to it. You can't replace exactly. shit. Exactly. I love it. I grown love it. Grown woman. Grown woman. So, y'all, y'all, listen, check it out. Six so, our listeners, <laughs> Blue is always, always, always in the wrong. I don't care what you do. He ain't always in the wrong. Yeah, yeah. You know why? Because he always taking ill. How many L's? But well, L's off emotions, though. It'd be because my heart be in the right place. But that's I'll because you're a good man. I, yeah, I take sacrifice. So you gotta L's. take right, it. Bro. You gotta take it. You know, you gotta weigh it out. I because know, he's a good man. He might be taking some L's, but once he a good man that knows who he good is. Good people be stupid every day. Yeah, once he learns himself, he gonna, <laughs> he gonna listen, be that man. But listen, he got man. all you know? of it. Me and Kendall, mm -hmm. we the same. Very Still different. players. You know this. You know me. But that ain't necessarily a good man. No, but you know what? I'm not saying that no, you're not a good no, 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 man. No, no, no. Players you, you got a lot me. of good assets. <laughs> you know me. I'm not, I would never take offense. You know me. Yeah. I'm saying mm -hmm. that he be acting like he's serious with every girl in order to get him. No. Sometimes he know he's not serious. Yeah. Sometimes he swear to God, he, I'm about to come. He know he not. He lying to himself, too. That's the worst kind of lie. Yeah. But to get these women, he be lying. So what I'm saying is, me and Ken are saying, mm -hmm. we honest with ourselves. This bitch ain't shit. <laughs> but nah. she cold, so I'm about to smack. That's what it comes down to. That's what it this comes nigga, down to. No, nah, bro, she just been through a lot. I don't fucking care. Yeah, that's my heart. Hard. I don't care that she's been through a lot, nigga. That's not my business. And that's cool. I have two. Everybody has. Everybody mm -hmm. has a story. That's true. Stop letting people play on your emotions and take advantage of you, bro. Mm -hmm. you, you got women, uh, a woman telling you the same thing that uh, your no, boys tell you on a regular basis. That's a fact. My nigga. You're doing too much. You're becoming an easy target. You're becoming a lick. No, no, that's a fact. That's that's one thing I so said. So stop. Bro. But 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 when you get so the you last bitch a fucking necklace, I we told your goofy ass not to get no more. And that's now, a lot. you just gave After a bitch a, a month necklace the other of day. Dating, that's like. That's like a, a woman really giving it up on the first night. Like. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> look, 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 he don't agree with that. A bitch can give it up on the first night. <laughs> no. That's, that's cool. Like, that's, bitch, that's, if that's I like you, I like you. Just don't be a listen. You can't do one thing to make you a hoe. <laughs> you got to do a bunch of things. Now, you can do 
a lot of things on one day that make you a hoe. <laughs> but if we link and we just so happen to click and the stars align like, like that, that. That's and you true. give it to me on the first day, I'm not gonna be like, oh, that bitch a hoe, she fuck everybody. No, because everybody ain't me, nigga. I ain't no regular nigga. That's but true. I'm gonna pay attention to women because that's what I always do. And I can tell if you get this pussy up all the time. And you gotta pay attention to the woman that you want. And I think that's what you do. I study, I, think, I love women yeah. so much. I'll be like, it's look how that bitch so move her hand. Yeah, that you study women and you study the woman that you're with. If yeah. you're paying attention, yeah, for sure. you're going to be able to tell how a woman move. And if you've been with enough women or been around women enough, you're going to be like, all right, mm, yeah, that, yeah. So I, already I, know I have been in situations. Right so uh, you don't know because we kind of danced around saying it. We didn't say it directly. Um, he doesn't cut women off. He, he doesn't cut anybody off. He doesn't. Yeah, you I got a problem with he, yeah. he 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 let it go to whatever extent until they cut him off. He never cuts a woman off. But you have to deal with that within yourself. Again, no, that's, that's a me problem all, for sure. Yeah, it all that's comes back problem. to you and how secure you are in yourself. The way it sounds like to me is that you're a good ass man. Great you just man. need the right woman that's to a fact. Give all of that too, and I had to learn that too because I can't give myself to. He ain't gonna speak on it because I'll finna air you out. He had the right woman and fucked it up for the wrong one. But but I was also 22 at the time, and I was very 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 hurt, and I was a boy portraying that man. I no no man. stop 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 no no that was a fact. I fuck I'll tell up you the, fuck but up. How you get the right woman? Fumble no, then, listen, it's been so was, bad. If I she try to ready. come to me, I might I call my girl and say, "Look, where you at? I ain't never coming back." I was going through a very traumatic situation where. Where an ex, where she did the most hurtful shit you think a woman could do, she did, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So God literally, and I know God sent her, because mm -hmm. literally right when I was going through shit, she said, I'm about to erase all that shit that you just went through. Mm -hmm. Like literally told me that, stood there through me while I was going through my emotional shit and so, hurt people. Hurt people. But you can't find her now? Oh, and, she. And no, no, no. We know where she at. No, we, we know. Exactly I watch her on the regular. It's a bad bitch. She, she deserves she to eat be her rice and cabbage, baby girl. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't do right <laughs> by her. Oh, I love you. Okay, Mike. I, I didn't do right no, by I'm her. Playing, no. Like, I deserve to take that's her. That's the one that like, got that's away. That's one that I, I can say. That's the only one that I, I acknowledge. That's, that's the, the one one that one that got away. So, he made a big error. I can't really wait. But, okay. Now, real quick, because we finna wrap up. Now, watch this. Remember how much. I was conflicted and going through back with old girls. Mm -hmm. It hurt me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you hurt a girl for something that another girl did to you. Mm -hmm. This girl hurt me. Mm -hmm. And that shit conjured up and snowballed, boom. And mm -hmm. I hurt her in a, in a really big way. Yeah. So it broken people, break people, hurt people, hurt people. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, like, if you pay attention and you move it efficiently and effectively, mm -hmm. you not going to get to that point. Because you're going to cut That's ties. That's why the healing process is so important for everybody. You, you got to no be conscious. No matter how small the situation is, that healing it process means, something. means so it means much. Everything. Yeah. It means so now much. Now check it out. This is Players Mess Up to the Podcast. And I am Tree Live with two eyes. Heartbreak Blue in the building. And it's Tia T. Tia T. <laughs> we have a very special awesome. guest. And uh she will be joining us again, but this has been a Definitely. great episode. We appreciate our listeners. Everybody downloading, everybody sharing, everybody showing love. Tap in, give us some interaction, subscribe, and uh, make sure you, you know, sending us your responses to the bullshit that we say. Because <laughs> we're going to come with fuckery, we're going to come with real shit. We might come with politics. When he ain't here, we might come with politics. And we're going to come with everything, but at the end of the day, it's all for y'all. So y'all make sure y'all give us uh, feedback. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Shout out to Legal Money and Plug, people like us, Ground Apparel, our sponsors. Gang. See, I'm so happy today, girl. No, that, that was, that, that was but listen, episode. my people always show up. I'm so up, mad uh, I was he, fucking he, late, It was going to be crazy. Listen, it was going to be crazy. It was going to be you mm -hmm. and us two. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if one of his little people he like or something. Who is <laughs> That's uh, my brand ambassador for my lip book. The brown skin girl? Yeah, yeah. lip Bitch, you like her. He going to say all that. He might be the goat, though. Cause he he don't know he the goat. That's why I be cussing him out. But he knows some shit. The boy, like if you, uh, all the yeah, money he spent on these girls, got, he don't make it at work. He make it off his business yeah. Yeah. that he sell lip gloss. Yeah. So basically, it's so, it, listen, I don't know. Now that I know that, I probably would have approached it a different way because 